Listen, share, rate, and subscribe to Hip Hop Marvel's podcast available on all podcast platforms and apps and streaming services. Available on Pandora, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Google Play, and more. Yo, this your boy Frank Nick. And there's rules if you want to get in this Marvel Studios. Don't nobody get in this motherfucker. So rule number one, don't pop your ass up. Don't bring no extra niggas. And you better be ready to write, direct, produce some hot shit. Or you will not get in. Marvel Studios, nigga, you know what it is. Frank Nitt, let's go. We got a lot from your block to the comic shop. Fine. I'll do it myself. Take this and dig it deep. You now on that wavelength, time to sign in. To Floyd and Hip Hop Marvels are chime in on topics of comics. Brought to expand the hip hop connect with a gauntlet in hand. They got it locked in, they floss in the brand. The block to the comic shop, they cross and examine. Representations famine and moved on the shelf. And the system is happy with the movement is dealt. We don't wait for the sick to improve on the health. So we pull a Thanos, fine, I'll do it myself. And it'll come out extra clean. Extra clean. Fresh for the Fans like an extended extended scene, scene. the hip hop and comic dimension. They activate you with gems they presenting. Hand in the gauntlet, yes we gon' flaunt it. Hip hop marvels will bring you the rawness, the rawness. It's your boy DJ Dub Floyd in the place to be, and in the place to be is DJ Dub Floyd. This is the Hip Hop Marvels podcast. Uh, remember to listen, share, rate, and subscribe. We're on Pandora, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Google Play, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, CastBox, Stitcher, and more. If you have a question or a comment, suggestion, email us at hiphopmarbles at gmail.com. Follow us on our social media, uh, Twitter and IG, at Hip Hop Marvels, and on Facebook, Hip Hop Marvels, all one word. And subscribe to the newly available Hip Hop Marvel's YouTube channel, Volume 2, Episode 15. And I'm here today with the Squadron Supreme. What's going on, everyone? I am Kasha Mosley, uh, a.k.a. Cash Collective, a.k.a. Captain Marvel, the black one, the original one. Let's <laughs> Mon- throw that out there. Monica Rambeau. My history. <laughs> that, yeah, she did. Monica Rambeau. That's what she's talking about. Monica Rambeau. She said the black one. That's right. Right. <laughs> Be with the shits today. <laughs> Rick 0378, one fifth of the hip hop marbles. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Claudius, uh, aka, I'm just here trying to suck in the uh, the the information, <laughs> learn a lot during this podcast because I have a lot of questions and trying to understand more and help out support. So I'm just glad to be here, man. I appreciate it. That's good. You uh, you you touched on that. I'm with the shits. I know I'm with the shits. As if being in the midst of a pandemic wasn't enough. This is one hell of a year. I seen a meme yesterday, and it was a. It was like a meme of an alien sitting down, smoking a cigarette, watching TV. And he was like, yo, this season is the shit. This season, <laughs> season 2020, yo, it's lit. Like, <laughs> Little Mayo. Yeah. Little Mayo. Little Mayo. You know what I mean? So it's good you hit on that, Claudius. Um, and we, like I said, we're going to dive deep. We're going to have a very candid, real dialogue into what's going on because a lot's going on. I'll just start off by saying smartphones are the real MVP. And, uh, and and by that, I mean, it's capturing a lot of corrupt shit. And it just makes you think about the times where we didn't have smartphones and how much corrupt shit was going on. That I mean, didn't Rodney necessarily King get... Be, Rodney King being recorded was purely by accident. Right. And it, somebody, just saw him out there, somebody saw him out in the street and grabbed, like, you know, the old school camcorder on your shoulder. <laughs> right, right, yeah, yeah. The old with school the, joint with the VHS in it, and right, recorded with, that with the shoulder pad and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So 
it, it just makes you think about all those countless either lives that were lost, that were injured, you know, in the hands of police and in the hands of the law. It, it just makes you think. I'm grateful for smartphones, but at the same time, it's kind of uh, haunting to see some of these images and stuff that, that they, they produce. Before we talk about George Floyd, before we talk about all the uh, protesting and the unrest, back in February, Ahmaud Arbery was shot and killed taking a jog in his neighborhood. Now, this wasn't by law enforcement or anything like that, but it kind of tells the same narrative. Ahmaud Arbery was a young man, young black man, going out for a job. You know, same Trayvon Martin situation. They just wanted somebody, you know, they wanted somebody to to uh, make an example of or hunt down. I want to say they like cornered him or whatever. And, he, you know, clearly in the video, you can see him trying to avoid the situation. And they shot him right there dead in the street. Like an animal. Like a damn, yeah, like a damn animal. Then you fast forward a little bit. This just happened, what, Memorial Day? You got my man Christian Cooper, who was in Central Park, minding his own damn business, bird watching. And he simply asked a white woman, could she put her leash on the dog that she was walking? Actually, it was a rule for the park. It was like a park rule. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, it was, it was actually a rule for the park. So I guess in her white mind, <laughs> she said, oh, nobody's going to tell me what to do. And basically put on a damn Oscar award winning show for the police. Uh, African-American man. And he's threatening me and he's recording me. And my man, Christian Cooper, was like, call the police. You know what? I didn't know he was the same Christian Cooper that was an editor at Marvel. (laughs) Exactly. And yeah, he's a Harvard grad. I mean, he's out there bird watching, minding his own damn business, which Seems to be the case with a lot of black folk out here, you know, getting yes, fully very much and, so. and, and, and being targeted, you know, they're minding their own damn business. Like selling you, water, cooking out at the park. For real. Like you can't even. You can't, right. Coming you can't, from a, a bachelor's party. Yeah, there you um, go. You know, taking, going taking to the a corner de- store. <laughs> celebrating on New Year's, taking the train. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, sleeping. Right. Yeah, sleeping. Spending time with your nephew. In your own it's, damn house. <laughs> yeah, right. It's, it's <laughs> kind of messed up because, like, I feel like that was his way of de-stressing. And now that's probably right. ruined for him for the rest of his life, probably. Because he's like, oh, shit, I got to deal with, should I look out again when I'm bird watching? You know, right. so like, probably yeah. the only thing, like, he looks forward to at the end of his work day or maybe the middle of his work day or whatever. Right. And, know, and, so. and, then, and then you wonder why this term Karen is out there, you know? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, which, which offends for some reason, it offends the hell out of white women. But yeah, he's, you know, he's in Central Park just chilling, minding his own business. And here she comes trying to use her privilege to get the police to what? Come and harm him? What? What, are they, what, are they, what is she trying to do? Then at the same damn time, she's arguing with him. Her dog mm-hmm. is getting choked the hell out in the video. Yeah, that's what's <laughs> like, up, man. Yeah. Like the dog is like, you know, like begging right. for his life and it's like right. damn near hanging from his leash. Yeah. Uh, apparently the dog got taken away from her too. Yeah, that's it got what I heard too. Yeah, yeah. it got yeah. taken away. And I read something today about uh they had gave it to her back or something like that. I didn't get you know, uh, I just saw the headline. So I mean no, I hope not. But I'm like, you willing to abuse your animal to try to prove what? Um, and and the fact that she was so convinced that it would go down that way is yeah that yeah. says a lot. And we'll get yeah. we'll get into that later. Yeah. We'll get into that later. But that says a lot. She about, was so confident about it. Yeah, yeah. It says a lot about America. That's Ooh. that's definitely what I want to touch on right there. Is that she purposely mm-hmm. she knew what could potentially happen. It seemed like that's like a new thing now. They can threaten every black man with is I'm going to call the cops and tell them that it's an African American man mm-hmm. bothering. Right. Yeah. In hopes of what, though? Like what? They, you know, because but that's a testament, I mean, that's a mean, testament honestly, to what's going on in, 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 in the world today now, because it's like if she knew by telling the officers or, the you know, telling the police that, hey, there's an African-American man harassing me and, and provoking me. I mean, she knew the consequences. You yeah, know what I mean, yeah. she's aware that's of the consequences, but that that thought process right there is the very thing that got George Floyd killed. 
we're already looked at as angry black men and angry black women. You know what I mean? We're already yeah. looked at that, you know, oh man, he got ship on his shoulder, like automatically. Look at his face. He's just so mean. He's so, you know. Yeah. Um, but um, I think with everything going on now, it's like, yeah, you know what? I am an angry black man. Yes, I'm a- I'm angry as hell. I'm angry, very angry. You have every right to be upset because exactly. <laughs> We're here. We don't fully know our history. We are just basically digging for our history on a daily basis. You know, the majority of us are. Um, Even like I've seen people saying, oh, Juneteenth is about to be turned this year. And there's still black people saying, what is Juneteenth? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Um, And we'll get into the whole, you know, we'll get into what we can do. As black people, what what are some of the things we can do to, um, you know, bring awareness into? Because like you said, yeah, there are some people that don't know about Juneteenth. It's crazy because I met a young man that he didn't even know that we had a whole air, a whole air unit in, in World War Two. You know, right. he didn't even know about the Tuskegee Airmen. I mean, that's, Which, that's all that history. Now, I think that's being lost as far as like the family. itself. Exactly. My mom made sure I read. And I mean, I, I didn't I didn't depend on school or social studies class to teach me black history. So I started doing my own research. We've all been in school. Black history was pretty much what Martin Luther King, Harriet Tubman, Rosa Parks. Right. Pretty much. Right. And, and, yeah. and, and, I mean, now I mean, now our kids are going to are, are going to be able to read about um, Obama pretty right. much. Right. And that's going to be probably like the black history chapter in social studies class right now. But I just think us as a people and us as a family, you know, we have to be responsible for our own history and making sure that they learn. Yeah, you know I'm I, 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 Morgan, I, Louis Latimer, you know, great black inventors that you know, you know better, you do better. So yeah, yeah, you know. I, no, I absolutely agree. Um, and I had the luxury of my mom's sister. Um, shout out to my aunt Rosemary. Coming up, you know, she's very, very pro black, very in tune with her blackness. Anything I learned at school, I knew I can go to her house and find out the real. Mm-hmm. You know, she had books on books. She was very educated. She was one of the first ones that really, I always say, like, she was one of the first ones that broke down Magneto and Professor X to me. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> yeah. even though she didn't, in a literal sense, she didn't, like, tell me, oh, this is Charles Xavier and this is, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. No. She taught me who uh, Malcolm and Martin was. Um, she taught me that at a uh, very uh, young age. And anything that we learned in school was kind of debunked when I got to her house. Now, don't get me wrong. Some things slipped through the cracks. Mm-hmm. And and a lot of us are witnessing this as adults now. where yeah. we're, we're coming to find that we're having, we're having to uh, unlearn a lot of things. I, I mean, I'm sure I could speak for all of us. Like, I don't even... Christopher Columbus who? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I don't... I'm what we used to get off of what school for that or something like mm-hmm. that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Most schools <laughs> don't even recognize it nowadays, right? And like in in Thank school, you still like they used to uh, revere him in school in in history class. He's like he discovered America, America. <laughs> yeah. Like he was, in, they didn't yeah, tell you the like, real, 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 real deal. And some uh, savages like, greeted him, and he, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so growing up, like, I thought he was, like, this great man, like, you know, in, like, in, in grade school. And it's like, but as an adult, you realize this was a fucking asshole. Like, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, like, yeah, I'm Christopher Columbus. We used to play, like, you know. Yeah, like, you're right, you're right. You yeah. know. But, yeah, with the whole Christian Cooper thing, you know, so that was, like, within the span of, what, the last, what, week or so, two weeks. Mm-hmm. And then, then you get to George Floyd, so... Like it all went down in like what two months, right? I'm, two I'm, and a half months. Like, yeah, I'm damn, like, this is crazy. It's not, that's out of fucking hand, man. But you like, know, but you know what? They always happen in spurts like that. Because remember, Mike Brown, Eric mm-hmm. Garner, and the other brother from Minnesota were kind of killed like in the same, like in a, in a decent time span like that. They come yeah. in, it's like they come in. I don't know if they call them in packs or sessions or seasons mm-hmm. or I don't, I don't understand. But it, it you, you, you can get about two three maybe four at the most yeah. in a certain amount of time span and right. and then and then there's a lot that's not being captured by cell right. phones and whatever so it's like we don't even know how many more there, there are you know what i mean yeah so. yeah i made a joke i said uh, i blame thanos because like 
this shit started happening after Endgame. Like, what the, like, <laughs> yo, <laughs> Endgame came out. It was like it's, it was prophetic or something. Like, Endgame. Like, all right, 2020. All oh, that, you're right. yeah. bullshit roll. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, they know it wouldn't be so bad if he could just cut out all of these racist people. And, yeah, yeah. You know. It's crazy. I just seen, um, yeah, with a snap, right? It's crazy. Um, I, I was looking uh, on, I was on Instagram and uh, Jim Starlin, you know, he's the creator of, uh, of Thanos. Okay. And, yeah. He, um, he did this long Instagram post. I, it, it looked like a novel. Damn. Yeah. Pretty much saying how Thanos is better than Donald Trump. <laughs> it was wow. so dope. It was so dope. You know, because, you know, Thanos is one of my favorite villains, period. But, yeah, it was just dope to see, like, him just come out and just diss Trump like that. Like, look, my evil villain is, is less evil than you. Like, yeah. you know what right. I'm saying? He wiped out half of the universe. What was the, uh, what was the general guy? gist of, like, what he said? Like, like I, 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 didn't, I, I didn't get into, like... Uh, everything but he was just because he had made a statement like that early like before okay and i want to say he made it i don't know if he was on like if it was in a publication somewhere or he yeah. was like it getting interviewed and, and said it i would love to interview to him to see him. yeah we're talking about trump they got all the shit yeah. that trump does and try to you know mm-hmm. equate it to what thanos does Le- at least when they Th- before the snap thanos had like his ideology was kind of like okay i kind of Kind of makes sense. Kind of makes sense. I kind of agree with what he, you know, what he's saying. You know, but Donald Trump says some crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? So makes no sense. Yeah, you know. So man, his his uh his his address to the nation the other day was like ridiculous. What the hell are you talking about? I was like, what, like two minutes? Are you saying some dumb shit and then walking back into your White House? Like, no, this dude, this dude dude basically (laughs) said he said I put the military out in the street. Yeah, pretty much. For you to carry guns. Pretty much. What? Yeah. For, you know, pretty much like for your Second Amendment or something like yeah. that. So said. you're basically wasting tax dollars. You're fraud wasting and abusing our military. He's like, what, what is the point? He's, yeah. he, oh, I'm going to tell you the point. There is no point. I'm going to tell, no, tell you the point. He's appealing to those voters, those yeah. gun-toting voters. He's appealing to, for, you know, to them so they can come out in abundance and to vote stupid. in november he yeah. this guy is he he's he don't care about what's going on right now this guy is strictly on politics and how he can stay his ass in that white he's house been, he's been campaigning since he's been in office anyway he's been holding like little rallies it's been one the it's crazy been it's crazy mm-hmm. it's been one big campaign like this nigga got elected and since the day he got elected been running one long ass damn campaign yes yeah, that's, that's basically what it is you know he what i'm won- saying um, I, I feel like he wants to be Hitler so bad. And it's just like, <laughs> you got you five see, months. And I really this? hope our black and brown people and everybody get to the polls this November. Actually, uh, primaries are going on right now. Yeah. And right. Vote yeah. On your local levels and stop playing with him. Like, we just, we have to get him out of there. I'm And I'm not even big on politics. Let me just throw that out there. Me, me, yeah, but me this, too. Like, yeah, this fool I mean, got to go. Like at this yeah. point, you got to go, bro. Like, I feel. Uh, I feel like it's now like like you said. I'm not big on politics either. But like at this point, it's like we have to get in that uncomfortable it. zone. You know, yeah, what I mean? to, yeah. to get familiar to get these these people out of the fucking office. Like hey, yeah, so. I mean, I won't say that I'm big on politics, but the way you know, my my mom was raised during the 50s and the 60s, 70s. Mm-hmm. You know, my grandmother came up in the 30s and the 40s, and yeah. it was always kind of like drilled into my head as responsibility, uh, a responsibility of, of ours to vote. Right, um, right, right. But, I'm, uh, but it's also a part of not just the president. It's kind of like what Killer Mike was saying the other day. We got to start, you know, when it comes to mayors, mm-hmm. senators, yeah. governors, yeah. superintendents, school superintendents. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I'm well, glad you hit on that. We yeah. got to get on. We got to. We got to get. If we're gonna get political, we need to get political on all levels. All levels. Yeah. All levels. All start of- starting with where we are. You know, starting with where we are. I said it before, and I, you know, I did many a rant on Facebook <laughs> this past week. 
Oh, oh yeah, bro. You was about the latest one, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I did many a rant, you know, this week <laughs> on Facebook. I, you know, I like I said, I'm with the shits right now. To touch on what you said, Rick, I think that um honestly, this has woken me up to I'm I'm more I'm more focused on where I am now, like as far mm-hmm. as locally. I've been in Durham for this is I'm going on what this is about four years. I've been in Durham. Right. And I'm I'm a resident. I mean, let's 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 face it. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So I'm I'm more concerned with the grassroots, like here. What what can we fix here? And then that I think if everybody had that mentality, mm-hmm. right. then it, it you know the problems would start to to fix themselves yeah. all over. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But right. uh I'll I'll talk about the uh the many things that made me wake up and open my eyes due to all this unrest. Because it's sort of like George Floyd is, is a martyr in a way. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. That didn't take nothing from the ones that died before him. But I think it took, like, we finally said, you know what? Enough is a fuck enough. Like, this is it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Se- seriously. Like, how many more de- bodies we going to have to, like, you know, mourn over? Okay. Like, yeah. enough is enough. Found myself getting emotional to the other day because, you know, I have a son. My son Xavier, he'll be 20, August 15th. And 20. Yeah, 20. Yeah. <laughs> I just had some money. Yeah. Yeah, I got started early. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, you know, he'll be 20 and it's it's crazy. I, I I never I never would imagine he would have to grow up in a world like like this. And for me to yeah. have to tell him, like, look, just because you you had no choice in who you are, what skin color you are, but but due to that, there's going to be some people out there that dislike you, that is going to try to keep you down, keep you from excelling, being on a, a level playing field with, with the rest of society. And it's just sad that they have to have, to have that talk. When I know there there's other uh, parents and, and other people out there not even having, that's not even, not even fucking, thinking about it. That's not even a fucking discussion. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's not even a, a issue. So, you know, yeah, I got emotional um, over that. And then, like, you know, as far as my daughters, my daughters, they're, I have two biracial daughters. Hell, you ask society, they black. You know what I mean? Straight right. up and down. Um, they're black. And like, as a, as a parent, how do, you, how do you come to terms with having a talk, though? Like, how do you get into the mind space to even do that? I was very, very big on that when they were younger. Okay. I used to sit them down and watch and point. You see that? Right. You see this? Yeah. That. Um, I remember um, there was one uh, one uh, instance to where I, um, my oldest daughter, Trinity, she was in, um, I want to say she was in preschool. Is mm-hmm. he, yeah, it was, I think it was preschool or pre-K, one of them. And um, she had a friend in there that, had, you know, white friend, had nice hair. And okay. She, she went through a point to where, oh, I want my hair like this. Yeah, so I sat her down and had to explain to her like you you're, you're beautiful the way you are. Yeah, your hair, you know your hair, and but those talks help her come to, you know. So now, you know, yeah. she she embraces who she is. Right. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You, it's important to have those talks. It's important yeah. to put those 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 thoughts in in your children's head. Um, it's important to sit them down, especially you know, um black men and women whether you're raising a kid together or by mm-hmm. yourself it's important for us to um instill that in the, in, in our children early so that right. they grow up let them know like there's nothing absolutely nothing wrong with you man nothing yeah. absolutely yeah, I, absolutely I nothing do that. i do that with my sons too because um like even within the black community like we talked about before we face colorism my mm-hmm. oldest is dark skin. My youngest is light skin. So I tell them all the time, like, you're beautiful how you were born. You know, you're yeah. beautiful in the skin that you're in. That's the skin that God wants you to have. So rock with yeah, it, exactly. baby. Like, like right. exactly. I, but for me, as far as talking to my children, I have a, a teenager, a new teenager, 13 years old. Then I have okay. my seven-year-old. And with, with my baby, it's just, I don't know. I'm kind of... I tell him stuff on his level, but at the same time, I don't want to scare him. Yeah. I don't want to give him nightmares. Right. But right. I give him what he can 
tape. You know. There yeah, you go. I mean, I, and, and it's all up to it's all up to the parent. It's it, um it's all up to the parent whether they want to you know gently spoon feed or just yeah. like mm-hmm. here, this is it. I mean, it just depends on the circumstances. You know what I'm yeah, saying? But, I'm, yeah. but it's scary because like my my oldest in five years he'll be going to college. He wants to go to Howard, and I'm just yeah. like at this okay. point. At this point, I don't know if you're going to Howard. You might be at Central up the street because right. I'm trying to get to you quick if something happens. But exactly. I'm just like, it's yeah. so exactly. scary. You know, I'm trying to tell him, you know, what's going on in the world. But at the same time, he wants to be a teenager and right. play yeah. his video games. But mom is like, right. no, you got to read this. You got to right. watch this interview from Malcolm X. You got to watch these Tupac interviews. Right, because right, I'm just right. trying to put him on the yeah. game, you know, so. Yeah. It's it's, it's constant it's constant trauma, man. Like, and, and that's trauma. and that's what I try to you know um, to to explain to my non black you know brothers and sisters. Like, I, I try to explain to them like, you, know, you want to know what it's like to be black? Like, it's it's constant trauma. See that that's because that's because they looking at crap like love and hip hop. They want that kind of drama. Right. <laughs> they want to be black. And get, they want to be in that kind of drama. Hey, let's throw drinks and yeah. Do this and do that, and it's everybody wants to be black, so it's time to be black. That's what Paul, yes. like Paul Mooney said. Everybody want to be a nigga, but no, no I want to be a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like that's facts, and it's yeah. crazy. I, you know, and this goes to like the post I put up on on Facebook the other day. I said, don't just fuck with us for for the fun stuff. It's about it's about the culture more than anything else. Mm-hmm. They right. want to be cool. They want to dress. They want to they want to talk the slang. Yeah. You know, it's about the culture. It's not about us as a people. They right. want our men. <laughs> they want, the, they want our women. <laughs> right. They want our men. They want our women. Come on. Where I know they, the Kardashians have put out statements, but are they genuine? Are they really going through? You know, they have black children, but what are you doing for these black children? Exactly. And see, and that's... We that, realize that they're black. That's, that, and, that, and that brings me to, you know, okay, so with, you know, with the whole George, George Floyd thing, I'm not even going to Uncle Ben people to death. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. By that I mean I'm not y'all know the origin story. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Right. Um, yeah, I feel. I'm not I'm not going to, you know, uncle like I said, uncle Ben people to death. But due to this black man's death, it had sparked a flame that is burning like a motherfucker right now. And what I will say is if we don't keep this same energy going, if we don't capitalize on this opportunity right here and we let this slip, it's a wrap. White supremacists, yeah, they know they out, they're out of here. Like, you know what I'm saying? They know uh what generation Z and the millennials, mm-hmm. they have a different frame of thinking. Yeah. They have a different way of thinking. I saw a post that said, um, how you gonna ask the generation that was raised on Nuck if you buck to calm down? For like, real. no, we with the shit. <laughs> For real, like, yeah. How you gonna, yeah? Hell. I will say, I I truly believe in my heart. Malcolm X is smiling down on us right now. Like, like, yes, y'all finally got it. Y'all, y'all out there protesting. Yup. I <sighs> I'm. You know what? In the past, I was a little more Professor X. Right now, I'm a little more Magneto, man. Straight up, and that's going on a t-shirt. Bottom line, <laughs> straight up. Right. Like you know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's it's real. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm I'm definitely Malcolm, but right now I'm a little more um, Bobby uh, Bobby Seale and Huey P. Newton. I'm ready to strap up. <laughs> well, I mean, I am strapped. Don't get me wrong, I am strapped. But everybody needs to strap up, and we need to be yeah. able to secure our own communities and neighborhoods, and just apply for ourselves. Yeah, definitely. Um, um, definitely. Yeah. I like. I, I mean, you how how do you tell people to calm down that been through this over and over and over again? And then at one point, you know, we built ourselves up. You know, you had Harlem looking great. You had, you know, you had uh Black Wall Street. Philadelphia. Yeah, you know, Philadelphia. Yeah. All of these places we built really? from the ground up. Cause we're that's what we do. We take yeah. we take nothing and we make something. Look at hip hop. The top selling genre in the world. Yeah, took it from but, nothing and made it to something. Well, that that was partly because of the resident in the neighborhood too. Like during the King and the X riots, it's like the same other time, like destroying our own community. And that's definitely one thing I'm against. I'm not 
I'm I'm not against rioting or making points and public demonstrations, peaceful or if if need be violent, but don't destroy your own community. Right. That was I, two things. The the King of X riots and um white flight after the King of X riots. You know, okay. back then you could have the mailman living next to the garbage man, living next to the teacher, living next to the doctor. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then we had like those kind of residents leave the neighborhood. The people of that community that weren't of that thinking level, where are your examples then? We got to get to a point where we can achieve um, ownership. You know what I'm saying? As us as the people, we definitely have to be more financially responsible. I mean, I know there's a whole different other, I know there's a whole different other subject, but we definitely have to be more financially responsible for what we have and what we can create. We may not, we not, we not be, we may not be able to create that much, but we can flip that. I've seen other hustles that we all doing. The mm-hmm. part is the cash to you. Everybody doing a different kind of hustle and trying to and trying to bring things together. And that's honestly what we need to do. I kind of like how you're doing now. You're asking for all the black businesses in the area. We yeah, create like, our, like like another green book uh, or like black a green book. book director. Yeah. 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 And like you said, um, to 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 elaborate on that, I said this whole situation did a lot to open my eyes. It got me, you know, thinking about where I'm gonna spend my hard mon- earned money at. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Or or with. Yeah, right. um, it's got me thinking about who I associate with. It's got me thinking about how I move. Yeah. What clothes I'm aware. Right. right. What brands I'm a buy. Stuff mm-hmm. like that. Those right. are vital. Those things are very vital. Yeah. If everybody true. can get on the same wavelength. You know, with that, I think we'll be okay because I don't know if you guys seen um Trina and Trick Daddy got into it over on, on the radio. No, I, I see have, that. I have the quotes. You have the quotes. Oh. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, please, please hit, please hit. Yeah, tell, tell me what that was hit, about because I have no yeah, idea. Please hit Claudius. Yeah. Please, please hit Cla- Claudius so, uh, with the quotes. <laughs> As a matter of fact, um, just, just touch touch on what they were, you know, discussing discussing and how it relates to what we were talking about because I'm talking about, um, you know, investing in ourselves and buying. And, and, you know, and, and forming some type of uh, economy within ourselves. Because yeah. that's when we thrived. They couldn't stand yeah. that shit. They couldn't stand right. it to the point that, where they, they had to bomb shit. Like, right. literally yeah. bomb bomb shit. Like, you know. Rosewood. Rosewood still gets me mad this day. I can't watch it. I get pissed immediately. Yeah. People thriving off of their own shit. You know, no handouts. They and that's a big thing they want to say. You know, I seen a quote sometime. Some somebody said, "Uh, oh, they're not looting and rioting uh, the welfare office." Oh, word. Yeah. Fuck that welfare. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. But uh, go ahead, Cash. Yeah. All right. So this is according to Bossa. Um, their caption says, "We are sad to report that Trina, our beloved baddest bitch." And someone we have rode out for uh, and love forever is here looking like big trash. She went on the radio, uh, I believe, yesterday morning and this morning and was furious. Basically, she was upset over the killing of George Floyd, question mark. And so basically, Trina, instead, she was upset at the protesters who are looting and her best friend's business basically got messed up. So she went on the radio show with Trick Daddy and blasted black people, um, basically saying that she call, called. Call, hold on, called them animals too, right? Yes, called them animals, and even went on black on black crime route with Trick try, when while Trick tried to set her straight. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I heard he that is canceled. Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah. Yo, I'm I'm dead ass. Like celebrities, they ain't shit. Um, canceled. Uh, yes. I, they, yeah, celebrities ain't. It, it, that's another. Hold on, that's another. It, that's another thing that opened my eyes. It's crazy. This this whole shit opened my eyes to a lot of shit. Like yeah. ce- I, I learned that celebrities ain't 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 shit. Cause where they at? They had all did all this talking when we was doing all these battles and shit and yeah. all this other good shit. When shit hit the fan, where they at? They're nowhere to be found. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Don Lim- Lemon called uh you know a few of them out. He was like, "Come on, Oprah, Tyler Perry, like yeah." Hey, Y'all like right, right, right. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, so I saw Oprah, she posted like one little meeting with um no, this is Gail. Gail had a meeting with Bishop Jakes, and 
Gail King does not get it. She con- consistently <laughs> asks the wrong question. She asks him, how do we heal as black people? And Bishop Jakes, shut her down because we because he said we cannot heal it's not healing we we just it's not our problem right it's they not. have the problem with us so if 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 exactly. i'm at school and i'm bullying you just to be for the sake of because i just don't like you and i'm bullying yeah. you you don't have the problem yeah right i do so in order for the bullying to stop guess who got to stop it me yeah because yeah. guess what you you telling me to stop? I'm not listening. Yeah, so it's not gonna stop. Yeah, <laughs> right. That's true. <laughs> His what I'm he said honest, was that um, tell me was people are only gonna do to you what you let them do to you. Right. Yeah. Right. And that's that's where we that and this is the chapter of the book we're at. Right. <laughs> right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> we're but at Bishop that chapter. Bishop Jakes was saying um, that basically you can't heal. He he compared to what we're going through to cancer he said you can't heal a cancer patient while the wound is still open and that's basically what we're doing right now our wound is still open and you're asking us to heal no fuck that like give us a moment to go through uh the chemo and exactly everything else the surgeries let us go through this before you talk about healing but that's that that's that mentality though that's that mentality. And I, 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 I'll say it here. That's that house nigga mentality. Because it's, it's, it's basically trying to shut you up and pacify you. Right. Yeah. That's all yeah. it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I was listening to, uh, and it just it so happened, you know, I had to work today. So, you know, mm-hmm. I had, uh, I said, I'm going to call me a lift. I took a lift to work and called another lift home. Right. So I get in the lift. And uh, there's a, a middle-aged white man in there, and I had my headphones on, kind of like I do now. I was already yeah. listen. I was already listening to you know some music anyway. So I got in. He barely said anything. Hey, no mind. I still spoke. Like, hey, how you doing? Whatever. Yeah. And um, he has his radio on, and I'm I I just so happened to turn my my uh you know my my phone down my volume to mm-hmm. hear what was being played. And yeah. it was uh, it was this guy named Andrew Wilkow. I don't know if y'all are familiar with him, but he's no, like a, know it he's a, he, you know who it is. You say you no, don't. No. Oh, yeah, I know who it is. He's a, a conservative. He has a, a radio show on Sirius XM, and um, he's so he he goes on to 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 pretty much downplay Black Lives Matter. He's making excuses for the officers that killed George Floyd. He's pretty much saying that, uh, you know, Black Lives Matter. He went to the website and, it, and, and the website never said anything about George Floyd. The, the reason that they're rioting out, out there is, is not for George Floyd. Here is my thing. George Floyd was the catalyst. That's yeah. all it was. No disrespect to George Floyd, his family. Rest in peace. Right. We all know it was wrong because that's what sparked the rage. Yeah, but the ultimate fight here mm-hmm. has always been about equality, my nigga. Right. Like the the ultimate fight here is not okay. George Floyd, uh, you know, died. Oh, we're out here protesting just 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 for George Floyd, and then that guess yeah. what? When that dies yep. down, then it's over. That's what they want you to do, and that goes right. back to right. what I was saying as far as being pacified. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, or sweeping it under the rug. It's funny you say that because yesterday on Instagram, I left a long ass comment under someone like this is just a voice actor that does something for Overwatch. Anyway, to make a long story short, this guy who's from another country, I think he's like from somewhere out in Europe or something like that. He's like, why are you posting this? Like, because she tries to support, you know, the the blackout, blackout two right. or whatever. Um, and he's like, he's in jail. We won, and it's over. I'm like, nah, man. This is this is barely the beginning <laughs> of what's going on right now. Exactly. I was like, yeah. I was like, I was, I was like, no disrespect in here or anything like that. But I was like, you need to, you need to either like you can either DM me and I'll send you some Word. information, or yeah. you can research yourself. Go- you do your do googles. Stuff. Right. Yeah. That's that's New York niggas say. Yeah, Google you know what I'm saying. They be like, they be like, yo, do your Googles, b. Yeah, right. Do and your like, and, and, and I mean, like, no disrespect to this dude if he hears this interview, but like, he tries to send me some like, 
some some like audio from a phone his mom got, but it's all like in Spanish. And I couldn't understand what he's saying because I don't speak Spanish. But it's like he's like, Yeah, my mom knows the truth and it's on this phone. I'm like, dude, everybody has a different perspective <laughs> to a story. Like this is just one perspective. You don't know what's going on. I don't right. really know what's going on, but you need to do your research and dig deep. Right. And talk to a bunch of people and get the truth if you can, you know? So, yeah, the only people that can. Tripping over, the only, over that. Anyway, yeah. sorry, go ahead. No, 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 you're good. The only people that can tell you that is us. Like, we're going yeah. through black folks. Like, we're going through this. Like, so that, and that's why I said, like, you know, from here on out, I, I'm not, I'm not riding with fence straddlers, <laughs> straight up blatant, big racist, racist bigots. Yeah. I'm not riding with closet racists. Yeah. They out there too. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? I'm not riding with uh, you know, um show yourself. I'd rather know who you are. Show exactly. yourself. Yeah, exactly. I'm all for it because it's either you you it's either you're rocking with me mm-hmm. in my skin or you're not. Like right, straight right. and it, and and it not only goes for it not only goes for just white people, but it goes for um other nationalities as well. Because yeah. let's face it, we'll we'll get into that too. There's some other nationalities that are more privileged than us. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Even if it's by a small margin. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And so, like and, and and speaking on that as like as a mixed person, like I felt I feel like I had to say something. I've I've never I've never done that before, like wrote a comment on what someone says on Instagram. Kind of like social media is just like Yeah. There's most yeah. of this bullshit, right? But I'm yeah. like, I felt like the need to like correct that in the moment. I don't know why, but obviously <laughs> I felt inspired in some kind of way to say something, you know? No, so. no. And that was good, though, because it's like, Claudius. But, <laughs> <laughs> but no, that was that was good because, you know, it, 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 it at least you caught that. Right. right. And that's right. the that's the problem that we're having with these racists. Yeah. Is the, the fact that they don't think it exists. They don't think. Right. Like, oh, just do your little protest and it'll be over. And yeah, then you yeah. can go back to shucking and jiving and tap dancing for us like what the fuck no <laughs> you know yeah, what i mean no true. not at all it's crazy it's, it's you know like i said it, it, it they try to pacify things they try to um oh and what else is funny too he's in another country so no disrespect of this dude he's probably not into what's going on in the u.s but he had a post on his page from Fox News about something. <laughs> and I'm like, oh is this what you're watching over there? And wherever sure. you are, like, you, you're looking at the wrong sources, man. Like, do your own research. Definitely. definitely. There's yeah. a lot of, like, if people want to really know the real deal, it, it's out there. Like, if you yeah. really want to know about Black Lives Matter, Matter and what they stand for, mm-hmm. do, you, do your research. Like I said, do your Google, right. research it. Uh, if, you, if you really want to contribute to the cause, there's many a things you can do. You don't have to be out on the front line. You don't. Let me right. get that out there. Like to yeah. those. Oh, hold on. This is to this this statement I'm about to make is to my, some of my own people. Yeah. You black elitist niggas out there that <laughs> think that everything got to be your way. I said, speak it, brother. Yeah, this shit is for y'all because you don't know what a person's walk of life is. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Um, you don't know if a person's able to even go out on the front line. Yeah. A person might be dealing with something, some some mental health issues or mm-hmm. or a, di- a disability or, a, a, I mean, it, a n- numerous amount of, of, of different things that's holding them back. Yeah. From yeah. just stepping out on the front line. But right. there's many other things that they can do. Right. And I'm with mm-hmm. them if they choose to do those other things. Yeah. Use your strong suit. Everybody play everybody plays a part on the line. Exactly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? If if you good at if you're a healthcare worker and someone's, you know, hurt, injured and hurt out there, take your talents out there. Yeah. If you right. you know, anybody can, you know, uh they they have a lot of um they have a lot of bail funds out right mm-hmm. now, you know. Um donate. Yeah, donate cuz some these yeah. people are getting locked up and we haven't even gotten on that yet. How these cops are just using this as fair game now. Like they're out there just shooting people with rubber bullets and bean yeah. bags, pepper spray. That's why I'm going with the Black Panther approach. We need to police the police. Yeah, yeah. Because who won't police the police? You know what I'm saying? We, you right. know, we, we don't. We don't. We don't have any civilian review boards or anything like that, which is definitely what we need in every community. There needs to be a civilian review board for every police station in. In the country, period. Right. Mm-hmm. 
This shit, know what this whole shit feels like? It feels like I'm living a real life fucking episode of X-Men, nigga. Like on some real <laughs> shit. No, yeah. seriously, like on some real shit. Donald Trump is deploying troops out in the fucking streets. Like, are you kidding me? He's been, the- bro, he's been want he's been wanting to do that. To me, he's such an admirer of Putin. He wants to turn this country into a communist country. He wants to see martial law. He wants police in the street. He wants the military in the streets. He wants, you know, he with, with this whole thing now with the stimulus and everything like that, he wants you to depend on the government. He wants he he wants America. Yeah, we just you know, he just wants us to be a communist country. And that's just not where we need to be, you know what I'm saying? And and uh, I mean just us as a people, we just gotta start protecting ourselves. Nobody's gonna look out for us but us. If they're not gonna treat you right, they're not gonna teach you right or feed you right. Hey, Fubu, nigga, for, for us, by us, us. <laughs> for real. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, <laughs> or, or, or about the about you know doing what you can because yeah, you know somebody hit me up and was like, hey, you want to go to the protest? And I'm like, no. <laughs> but but they you know went at me and they were like, well, why not? Because you're a photographer, you need to be out documenting and stuff, blah blah blah. But it's not about it's not them, about that's that. Not my that's not my area of that's not my place to be. Yeah, for one, I'm a yeah. mother. But right. I have young children that I'm exactly. trying to raise and educate. And then right. another part, like if I go out there and die, I at least want them to understand why I, you know what I'm saying? Why yeah. I went out yeah. there and got injured or hurt or, or God forbid died. Exactly. You know, I want them to understand no, what's going on. But two, it's just like, you know, like you said, if you're a teacher, Educate your students every day. If you're a doctor, go yeah, out. just use your, yeah, use your superpowers, use your, right? Basically, use your, superpowers, yeah. Yeah. use your superpowers. Hell, if you're a musician, make a freedom, make a song right now, right? Like, something yeah. powerful that they can march to. Or some yeah, shit. yeah, like on some real shit. Like if we we podcast, we podcasters, we're using right. our voice right now. Like right. you know what I'm saying. I, and that's why I felt like I I said we got to record. Cash was already on the money, but I I, I was already there. But Cash mm-hmm. hit me up. Was like, "Yo, hey, when we record, hey, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, shit yeah. going yeah. on. I, I, I knew what coming. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And um, yeah. I said, yeah, I said this, yeah, the whole episode. I said, forget about any type of news or whatever. This is the news. Right. Yeah, right. people need to know. Um, you know, I wanted to ask Claudius. Claudius, I mean, mm-hmm. and I heard, I heard Doug talk about talking with his daughters earlier. And I, uh, I personally, I didn't know you were biracial. I thought you were just light skinned Okay. But, um, <laughs> 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 um, do you feel like there's a line or do you have to choose sides or anything in, in what's going on in particular? It's crazy you say that because, like, I'm originally not from this country. I'm from Georgetown, Guyana, which is in the Caribbean. So, I'm like, okay. my parents are, like, I'm Indian, Portuguese, white, and black. So, I'm, like, a, <laughs> a mixture of everything. Right. <laughs> but, um, like, my parents never had to have that talk with me because, remember, they're not from – America they're not from America so like you know back home there's prejudice but it's not deep rooted like it is here you know what right, I mean right right um so like they never thought that was a talk they had to have that's what I was asking Terrence like how you get into that space as a parent because like my parents never have to have that talk with me because like they just weren't familiar with it you know what I mean yeah it's so so I was dealing with that now it's like the fuck like it's just like a whole new it, yeah whole new like, thing like damn like this, you know I mean? like this shit was yeah. been going on like for real when mind, I tell you free. When I tell you it's like a it's like X Men out here, like we're the right. mutants, and Trump just sent the Sentinels out this motherfucker to come yeah. get us, but with the army and shit, like you know what I'm saying with the military, like it's crazy out here, like you know what I'm right. saying. The, the, the National Guard is already, you know, I'm still in favor. The National Guard is already around, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but 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 it's to answer true. Rick's question, um, as far as like taking sides and stuff like that, like. Like, I've always had, like, a moral compass from my parents to, like, do what is right. It doesn't matter, like, what the, like, if you're exactly. whatever, whoever you are, like, in, in school, you know, like, you try to, you try to, like, stick up for what you think is right morally. But, like, like we, we've, like, never been people to, people to, like, take sides with a certain race or, or whatever. But, but like, when you see injustice, man, you gotta, you gotta speak up on it. And I was talking to my sister, and I'm like, you know, we're mixed, so coming over here that's why we gravitated to hip-hop music is because like it got us in tune about what the black struggle is here because we because we didn't know about that so it's like but we naturally love hip-hop just by hearing it and identifying with it and it's like in our own way and like hearing that was like yo it's like they're teaching us about what's been going on because you know we didn't have the history in school because i came over here when i was like supposed to be in in, like in middle school so i kind of lost that whole 
Oh like wow, a, you came yeah. here like you were you you weren't a baby baby. You exactly. Were like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was like were, I was like nine or ten. Yeah, you right, were like exactly. walking, talking, yeah. thinking. Like <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah that's, that's like, how about that? That's the main thing. He's yeah, already he starting was, to have they, his own thoughts. Yeah, thoughts and right. whatnot. Yeah. So yeah. So like um, now on me, like I, I I need to like that's what I'm saying. Like I need to learn more about before I came like way before I came over here because the schools didn't give it to me. You know what I mean? Like right. high school didn't teach me about stuff that I'm learning about now on my own. Right. You know? So that's why it's important for me to go back and, and try to relearn and reprogram and understand. And that's what, what we're, really we're doing. That's what we're doing as black yeah. folks because the shit they yeah, taught yeah. us in school. I mean, and then and then even when they got to the slavery part in the textbook, mm-hmm. that shit was hella short. It was brushed over, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So it's like, what? But and it, but every page you turn is the a oh, white man did this, a oh, white man did that, yeah. And Paul honestly, Bear, it and, is in the books. It's you know, George down. Washington and you yeah, know right. what I mean, Christopher Columbus and, and you know and what I mean, I, like, and, and all they identify black like people in school was like slavery, and that's it, and that's all you get. You don't get like, and and then you might get like little pins of like this person did this one great thing, and it's like maybe three black people that. that that did something great, and that's yeah. all you get, and you move on, right? You know? So it's like, so that's now not, that's not how it is. Either. Now you know why. I mean, I feel this way, but like a mm-hmm. lot of a lot of black folks that I talked to felt this way with the movie industry. Yeah, it, there was a time where there was like every way you turned, it was a slave movie, slave movie, slave oh, show, yeah. slave this, slave, 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 slave. We yeah. got tired of that. Not shit. supporting it at all. We got tired of that shit because yeah. that's all they teach us. That's the only part really that we were in in the history right book. and that's the only part y'all want to portray to everybody else like it to us right. too like we want to see that shit we want to see us be great like we want to see us you know strive and be great and and ha- have things and, and and be successful and shit like i want to keep seeing us getting with right the right. last one I saw, the last one i saw was 12 years of slave i wanted to support harry tubman but i said i can't like i said i know yeah. i don't want to see the slave movie i mean we know how right. the story ends you know right. what I'm yeah. saying? And guess what? The story is still like, like we just said, this chapter that we just turned, it just now got real, nigga. Yeah. And that's that this this story been going on for years and years and years. Right, right. All the way back to slavery. That's a long ass book. And you mean to tell me out of all those chapters I read, nigga, like right now, 2020 is when when you turn the page on 2020. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's when like the uprising starts. Like, what? Yeah, it's crazy. Like it's you know it's been going on for too long, and it's you know people are fed up. We with the shits, and like I said, I'm not take I. If, if you either with me or against me, straight up, right? Because we all of us already feel like Pac, and Pac is, is very prophetic. You know, <laughs> yeah. oh, man, Cash Ka- been dropping plenty of uh Pac references, Pac Yo. interview. Very, real shit, yeah, real shit. He very prophetic. Like when he when he said me against the world, nigga, that's exactly what the fuck it is. Like, yeah, straight up, like me it's, against it's, the world. It's, it's crazy like, and sad that like what he says is still relevant in twenty twenty. You know exactly, I mean? it's, like, it's such a long time yeah. already. So exactly, and um, one thing I do uh commend though is that these protests are, are happening all around the world. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Yeah. That's, like the, that. that's that's the that's the that's that's. That's yeah. one thing to look at too. I'm looking at yeah. all the spikes and 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 all the things that, that, that you know alert my yeah. my brain because when they had the protests in Ferguson, you know, with Mike Brown and everything, it it, it was intense, but it ain't get this damn intense. No. Nah, they just let you know people are fed up. They fed yeah. up overseas. They yeah. they got George Floyd murals and signs and yeah. George Floyd, George Floyd, yeah. Like, like even people even are like um even people in uh New Zealand are doing yeah they're you know, marching over there crazy. protests yeah, yeah every yeah. all all around the world it's global so yeah, like dude. I said before if we don't take we as black people don't take this opportunity I'm talking to all my black brothers and sisters if we don't take this opportunity if we don't seize the moment and keep the same energy going. Let's right. ride this. Let, let's keep it going. Like, let's not even stop. Like, let's. This is the new normal. If you with me, you with me. If you're not, you not. I'm not tap right. dancing around nobody. I'm not playing Mr. Nice Guy no more. Either you with it or you're not. This and 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 I and I don't feel no type of way. The reason why because I I'm not the one with the racism. I'm not the one shunning white people for the color of their damn skin. Mm-hmm. Right. 
the difference between me being a proud black man and a white man being racist is the fact that I could just walk in front of a white man and he just see me and hate me. Yeah. Not a word has been said. No not an action has been done. Right. Yeah, just hates true. me. You know, right. we're frustrated now because of all the action, all of the action, you know what I'm saying? That they, they've done unto us. That's yeah. what we're fed up at. It's not about the color of their damn skin. Could care less about that shit. Because guess what? If it was another race of people, we'd be the same goddamn way right now. Like, it don't, it don't even matter about that the color of the skin. Let's toss that out the window because I heard that narrative being tossed around too. Oh, well, they're just uh, reciprocating hate back or something like that. Listen to yourself. No. Reciprocating hate back? Hey. Which, which means you're hating me. Like, what yeah. the hell? Yeah. Right. I mean, that doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Even though I'm not, even though I'm not hating you, Mm -hmm. but the fact that you're saying I'm reciprocating it back. So you telling me you hate me then, right? Weird. Right. Oh, no, yeah, no, no, no. To... I got plenty of black friends and I got black this right. and I got my president's black. My Lambo's blue. Like they he can tell you all of that shit. It don't mean nothing. I seen corporations come out. Um, Netflix was one of them. Oh, we support black lives matter. Whatever, whatever. I crumble that shit up, toss that shit out the window. I love Netflix, but no, guess what? Y'all should have been came out and said some shit. It shouldn't take this. Like right. all these apologies and all these people coming up to me apologizing and having. And furthermore, sympathy. furthermore, these big corporations putting out their statements. What does your CEO look like? What is your you know your let, yeah let, looking like? Yeah, let, yeah. What's let me see. Let me see your whole staff like? look like. Yeah, let right. me see your let's, staff. Let's see what that looks like. Let's see if that's diverse. That's how you combat white supremacy and and. Uh, systemic exactly. racism. Exactly. Yeah. Comment, Who's your PR comment. person? Because if exactly. you got an all if you got an all white CEO and your PR person is white and you're trying to comment on some black issues, you, you, yeah. you're going to be fucked up in the game. I'm sorry. I'm well, sorry you know, say. Drew Brees probably should have kept his mouth shut. So. Exactly. Oh, well, we, no, oh, oh, oh we gonna we gonna get we gonna get on people. I, oh, I, I'll let you go on Drew Brees, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Rick. Um, for people that don't know, just let them know what uh, you know. Let them know about Drew Brees. Basically, he was just pretty much not still not understanding. And I don't think he wants to understand. I think a lot of people don't want to understand, don't care to understand the whole aspect of Colin Kaepernick kneeling. And here we are again with another black man murdered by the police. Like I said, murdered by the police. <laughs> and people are still not getting it. And for him to, bro, just read the room sometimes. <laughs> read the room before you start talking. Right. You know, he should have had an agent or somebody in the organization like Drew just sit this one out. But then see, part of the whole thing now is everybody wants to just talk and, ha and have their opinions. Somebody wants to be mad about something and don't know why people are really upset. And it's just, it's, 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 a, it's a little disheartening when I hear, I'll say it, white celebrities come out and say stuff. And like, you know, how Dub was getting on the fact that we're the black celebrity. Mm -hmm, exactly. Tyler Perry. You know, but you got Kanye West. Kanye West has so much to say. You know what I'm saying? But a I ago. but but a, a, a flip to that is a flip to that is. I mean, Killer Mike. You know, I, I've seen Killer Mike come out and speak, and right. you know, other things like that. But right, a flip side to that is okay. I don't expect them to come out and say anything because they're celebrities. I don't look at no, 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 not that's yeah. not, not that I expect them, but I don't expect expect them to. But all this talk beforehand. About how oh I do this and I donate to this and people the people the yeah. people the people and then when some shit arise for the people you not you 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 ain't showing up you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell y'all about another dude that you know came under fire for some remarks he said some sometimes it's just best to keep your mouth down shut the hell up just stop like, you stop opening your mouth right. <laughs> Yeah. I'm, and I'm talking about and, and, and Claudius, you you're probably gonna be disappointed, man. It's uh oh no <laughs> Miles Miles Morales, man. It's Shamik oh. Moore. Oh, for real? Yeah, Shamik oh, Moore. Oh no, what happened? Yeah. What happened? Yeah. I, yeah. I didn't hear about this one. Yeah, Shamik Moore, um, Miles Morales. I'm gonna read this. This is from the Vibe. It says Shamik Moore blasted for comments on police brutality Damn. in in Rosa Parks. Uh, Shamik Moore, whose acting credits include Wu Tang and American Saga, which is dope, by the way. Uh, into the Spider Verse, dope, and the Get Down came under wait, fire. Wait, 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 wait. Which guy was Shamik Moore on Wu Tang? He, he played, was uh, Raekwon, 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 Raekwon. 
Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's Rick Kwan. Came under fire after ranting about police brutality, racism, and Rosa Parks. On Thursday, May 28th, Moore posted a series of tweets in response to George Floyd and protests held after his murder. The 25-year-old actor suggested that racism wasn't a factor in Floyd's murder and questioned how black people can avoid being killed by the police. <laughs> hmm. Avoid? We we can avoid yeah. it? So, so, so where was he? he but, wait, but hold on. But where was he then? Where was he then before George Floyd got murdered? Yeah. Where was right. this information I mean, at? Is he is he black American? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just asking. I mean, that's a good question, though. <laughs> right? He right. might be. He might be Dominican or something, because you know Dominicans uh, sometimes don't understand that they are black. That's um. why I had to ask. And I'm like, maybe he's not. You know, maybe not, because I've seen black folks act differently. You know, what I'm saying. Right. Oh yeah, for sure. And I'll give the benefit of the doubt to a degree. That don't mean mm-hmm. I'm gonna let your ass give you a pass. I, I don't mean yeah, I'm gonna give your ass a pass. You need to be but, educated. It's better. But, I, it's better. Right. I teach the cops to. Right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so, so it's, it goes on to say it didn't take long for Moore to find himself in a tailspin, feverishly defending, explaining, and clarifying his words. We have to work on our community before blaming everything on racists and police. One. Well, his career is just about look, over. Look, look, he said one. <laughs> <laughs> look, he said one. There is still black on black violence that needs to be addressed. Now, if this nigga don't get, if I keep hearing the shit about black on black violence. I'm ain't a, nobody I'm black shot nobody bro ain't nobody shot anybody else black just because they black <laughs> right right that's true. <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> exactly you know everybody can't everybody they can't say that now can they yeah right exactly so and let me just let me just throw out right quick to our dominican listeners i'm not saying all dominicans don't understand but there is a lot there's there's a nice population, know it. several, that do right. not understand that they are black. That's your nationality. Yeah. That is not your race. So. The only the only difference between you guys and 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 uh, blacks is a boat stop. That's it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Ain't nothing but a boat stop. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? On the way over here, it was a boat stop. That's it. You know yeah. what I mean? But um, it said uh, uh, number two, if we know that the wrong white person could change our whole life with a false accusation, why do we give them the energy they want? He said, give them an inch, they will take a mile. We literally know this already. At what point do we look at ourselves and make adjustments? Look, all I'm saying is, in the moment when we are experiencing racism, can we, the black community, find ways to avoid being killed or hunted? Now, the problem I got with this shit... He ain't from America. <laughs> look, he's from he's from Atlanta. Oh, he look, is. Yeah. Look, oh, look, the fact that he said, at your boy, Claudius, holla at your boy." <laughs> the fact that he said <laughs> we. <laughs> the fact <laughs> it, I know Claudius, it makes it, it, I know it makes you bad, man. He, yeah, Claudius, <laughs> you know his favorite hero is Spider Man, and probably yeah, even more so Miles Morales because of the fact that he identifies with most. You know. Yeah. So, no so um, but uh. The thing that got me is when he said, we literally know this already. At what point do we look at ourselves and make adjustments? I'm not adjusting shit because when Christian Cooper was bird watching, he was minding his own damn business. Mm-hmm. What the hell he need to adjust for? Right. You get what I'm saying? Like, I, what do I need, what that's, I need that's like to adjust for? Day, that's, like, that's like back in the day when you had, you had to step off the sidewalk and some white folks coming down the sidewalk. You had to step off. You had to be like, look out for them. Yeah. And you on the sidewalk. Right. What I, I and that's why I said it opened my eyes. I'm not adjusting shit for nobody now. Like I, for dead serious. I've done enough walking on eggshells. I mean, like I've the only enough. the only adjustment with like Christian Cooper is like he was upholding the law to right. some way to leash your dog. Leash your so dog. He was doing anything wrong, you know? So, exactly. Like that's not allowed. There's signs all over the place. But so a, what are you doing? But according to Shamik Moore, he's like, we know this already. We like we pretty much know what they're capable of, and we know what they're gonna do. So why even? Like basically, so in that case, Christian sh- give, shouldn't have just said shit. Continue to give them their power, right? Like he, in that case, he should, you know, he pretty much said Christian shouldn't have said shit. Pretty much, mm-hmm. let the dog. He's, at, he's, at, he, he, he's telling us that we should have stepped off the sidewalk. Yeah, that's what it sounded like to me. Step yeah. off the sidewalk when you see them white folks coming. Yeah, yeah. and that's that's not cool. Like that's not cool at all. Like, 
but yeah, I mean, it's crazy. Miles Morales, man. Like, <laughs> um, I will say just to clear it up, Peter Parker is my favorite Spider Man. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just man. so everybody knows. Can just we, can knows. we shout out the celebs that are? doing their part i was um, good i was getting ready to go there and such first, as... first on my list go ahead uh, you probably first got to on say, your list first on my list is john boyega yeah oh first john, on my yeah. list is um bay keith <laughs> bay oh, keith, bay bay, keith. Oh. Bay keith. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute Chanfield. i thought she was talking about a whole other person i'm <laughs> like who the hell is bay keith <laughs> <laughs> who's bay keith let me tell you shout out hell? <laughs> okay no, go ahead. You, you, you go. You go with Stanfield has been definitely been doing his part in posting. He's been out protesting, sharing links to, you know, donate. And he's been, you know, posting screenshots of where he's donated. Um, mm. Kehlani was out protesting. Mm. Beyonce dropped her statement. But Beyonce is really a private person. So I'm pretty sure she's yeah. doing more that we don't know about. You know about, yeah. I, see, I, 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 I can respect that. Yeah, I definitely could respect that. And then also I seen I seen a picture with Cole down the field. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Cole yeah. and um it was Cole and Dennis Smith Jr. were down here at the market in favor. And you know, that's also where they where they sold slaves right during that oh, time. Wow. That's okay. still yeah, that's still up here in town. Dude try to set it on fire, but you saw if you saw the video how that resulted in he caught on fire. Yeah, yeah, he caught on fire. <laughs> My man caught on fire, yeah. yeah. And it was nothing but smoke yeah. coming out the window. So I was like, <laughs> yeah. But also, like, it was a good know, try, um, good attempt, you know what I mean? Know, but uh, uh George Floyd Pete, George Floyd was born here in Fayetteville. Okay. I uh, thought I did hear something about yeah. that. Yeah. And he still he still has family here. His, his sister still lives here in Rayford. Um his stepmother yeah. is still here. A couple other family members are still yeah, here. So yeah, I His, think that's uh, why. I, I think that's why they was, was a little extra. You know, was a little extra turnt with it down yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like the video with um his his uh, George Floyd's brother and his daughter, and oh, you know, yeah. and she was like, "Daddy changed the world." That yeah, I yeah, was like, cool. "That's yeah. that's love right there, man." Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, Did go you ahead. Guys, Kat. participate in um the Blackout Tuesday. I did. Yeah. Um, and it yeah. was it was funny, but I'm gonna tell you why it was funny. Um, I participated in in uh, and I will admit I I kind of jumped the gun, and I you know I I, I got what they were saying mm-hmm. about you know the Black Lives Matter hashtag mm-hmm. connecting it with that you know what I'm saying because you want to get the the you know what's going on on the front lines and what's going on with the movement. You want to get that mm-hmm. hashtag if you want live updates and stuff like that. So I get that. So when I did it, I think I did it on the hip hop Marvel's Instagram page, but I immediately took it off. Somebody, one of the fans, you know, yeah. you know, kind of pointed that out and I was like, all right, cool. I was like, right on. I do, you know, take that off. But then at, throughout the day, I kept seeing like, it's kind of like more like elitist kind of condemning people and like shunning people and stuff. Right. Yeah. I is, that too. I'm, I'm so tired of those type of people because and, and the people say the time yeah, for that. And then you got the people that say like, it, it, I, I guess this is a, a, a sort of, because there, you know, in today's day and age, there's a culture attached, attached to a lot of things. Mm-hmm. And there's this culture out there right now that, um, that I guess you're cool if you're not doing with what everybody else is doing. Right. Mm-hmm. Kind of like, like, kind of like hipsters in a way, but not really. Yeah. yeah right. Like, 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 Oh, everybody putting black, you know, squares up on their picks. I ain't right. doing that. Like, you know, y'all right. look, y'all look crazy. I ain't doing that or whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm over here doing this or whatever, whatever. Yeah. Like, you know, shut up and let people do what they do. If if right. they if they doing it, you know, with the intention to to help out the cause, yeah. I'm all for it. Right. You know what I mean? Did I have my my page blacked out with the square? Yes, I did. But I also I didn't let it stop me from posting. Right, right. Think now I didn't post typical bullshit. You right, know what right. I'm saying? That I may, I might post, you know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. I posted, you know, things that could help out the movement. I posted links and yeah. you could click right. the help. Posted links that you could help with some, you know, with some of the bail, the bail funds mm-hmm. to help, to help some of the protesters out. Um, I posted, right. you know, uh, links to help identify the instigators. Mm-hmm. Coin tail pro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Those, those <laughs> guys out there, damn brick staged in front of buildings Bro, already when shit. you see when you like, see when you see the majority of the video of looting 
you see a whole lot of white folks. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see the one video with the with the, the white lady spraying? She was spray spray painting and uh the black girl was like, What are you doing? Like we didn't ask yeah, you to do that. that. Like yeah. we didn't ask yeah. you to do that. Right. right. They're that. gonna look the first people they gonna look, they already got a target, like we already on their radar already. Uh-huh. He's making it worse. He's just making it worse for us. And then it's crazy because I seen a meme. It said, uh, <laughs> I seen a meme today. It was in spray paint because they spray paint shit that we wouldn't even spray paint, first of all. Right. And I seen a meme. It said, darn the police. Oh, my God. <laughs> darn. Somebody said, somebody said, <laughs> somebody, the meme said, uh, I know Steve Rogers was here. Or whatever. I know Captain America was here. <laughs> that shit said, darn the police. You'll <laughs> see Rogers be like, language. <laughs> right, yeah. language. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, like, come on now. We're really going to put that darn the police. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it, it's trying too hard, you know. Um, yeah, and some of them are, are like breaking, you know, st- setting off the, uh, you know, setting off riots and stuff by breaking windows. Yeah. And, you yeah. know what I mean? And, but you got you got some of those, like I said, you got some of those um, those instigators and some of those anarchists. Like you got anarchists that really like, oh, this is the perfect opportunity. Hey, let's mm-hmm. get some shit up. Like, yeah, it's true. You know what I'm saying? And so they going down there and they making us our movement look like ass right now because. And, and I'm and also I'm, seeing where like the majority of the protests that have been arrested aren't even from those areas or those cities. I saw that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they traveling to do this shit, and they, which makes yeah. me think, like, when they put that the spotlight on them, like all those cinder block blocks and bricks and shit, like mm-hmm. a, you know piles of uh, neatly stacked bricks that just so happen to there appear, like on some Grand Theft Auto shit, like like a mod or some shit, like they yeah. just so happen to appear in front of a store, like right. so the first no. thing, like when shit pops off, we look over there, it's like oh bricks, oh, yeah, <laughs> start throwing them, <laughs> like what the hell. It's stupid. I'm like, so what the dumb. I'm like, what the hell? But it's 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 just crazy. I done seen some of the most outrageous shit, and then I've seen some of the most uh dope, dopest shit, man. I mean, every everything from a guy stole a police horse and he's riding through the streets. <laughs> Did you I see that video? Yeah, I, I saw, saw it, it, but I saw that I, I saw someone correct people and said that that's actually his horse. Oh, okay. okay. The story is better that he stole it. So yeah, I'm, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, he on some Grand Theft Auto shit for right, real. Like, yeah, I'm that. Gallagher been through the streets like, I got a police horse. <laughs> like, what the <laughs> hell? I saw that he's known around Chicago for, you know, for his horse. Oh, okay. But uh, okay. That, that's someone, a better story. <laughs> yeah. Someone, like, uh, someone, someone remixed it to uh, um, Old Time Road. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Now that's genius. Now that yeah, was genius. Of, yeah, that, now was, that yeah. was genius. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a lot of lot of shit happening, man. But then, like on yeah. the flip side of it, you got uh, well, before I get into the to the fucked up shit, um, you got young leaders out there. I'm surprised that like some of the ages of these like young leaders out there taking control and like yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like th- these are young leaders, like. As far I'm not, as I, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm surprised. I just I think it's definitely time. No, I, no, I not well. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, not not I, more I, so I think, surprised. I, I, I think for a long time we still kept leaning on Jesse and Al and guys like that. And let's just be honest, they're 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 outdated as far as what's going on now. Uh-huh. They're not as savvy as they need to be at this time. Yeah, and just, it's just time that some of these young leaders really start stepping up. And I and I'm, I'm definitely happy with that. Yeah, yeah, just let's just like some of those old conservatives are yeah. like out of style and out of date. Our leaders, you know, our older leaders, they you know, they they're not quite with the times just yet. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah. like you said, it is a, a, a good changing of the guard to have these kids on the front line, and I respect it in the way to, because I'm I'm a veteran. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Um, and I look at it as like they're doing Thank their. You. And cat, yeah, cash, yeah, yeah. yeah I, you know, and I'm, I look at it as doing my duty. Du- they're doing their duty. Like they're, right. They're, they're just as much as important as I was. But right. the thing is, like, they're, they're caused that. You know, I would, if I, if I could go back in time and change that shit, I would rather be on the front lines now, mm. fighting for some shit that I know, like fighting yeah. some, for some shit that I know that if the result is changed. I'm a benefit. Yeah. Right. Not over in Iraq somewhere. 
right. you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, under Bush administration, yeah, about some fucking oil or some shit, like you yeah. know, or some right. fake ass we- weapons of mass destruction. You know what right. I'm saying? I would rather, I would much rather be on the front lines now, fighting for some shit that, hell, even if I don't benefit from it, knowing that my my kids or my kids' kids could, you know, mm-hmm. right, benefit from it. Yo, how you how you think Dr. King and them felt back in the, in, in, in back in the day? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? They like they probably they, like they, they, they were willing to sacrifice. That's like the first time besides like slave result. I'm sorry, slave revolts that right. it was organized. And to that point, it was on an international level. Exactly. Uh, and, you know, people got to stand between national and international. But mm-hmm. King X, the Black Panthers, Marcus Garvey, all those, all those all those revolutions went international. Like how we were talking earlier, like there were protests across the world. Everyone across the world knows about the plight of the black man or the black family now because how they, you know, they're even attacking our women now. And like Biggie Rihanna, said, if they don't they know, had, now they know. Right. <laughs> yeah. If they if they don't yeah. know, now they know. <laughs> For and real. now, we, the, 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 as, 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 as the homie Cash Tupac say, all eyes on me now. The, the eyes, the world's eyes are on this country right now. Right now, today, at this exact minute. Exactly. So now, while we got the eyes, we got to show them something. Definitely, definitely. Like I said, it's, it's our time. To, it's our time to to keep this this the same energy. Like if we can have the same energy when a, a, another nigga owe us some money or something, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And we chasing them down, or when we don't get no type of respect. Or right. you know what I'm saying, or whatever. Like, if we can have that, we need to keep the same energy because I'm telling you, if we drop the ball on this one, I don't know what the hell else is going to take. If we if we, uh, we don't know, if we're gonna get the ball back. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's a good point. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Like, we dropped the ball on this one. It's it's a wrap. The bully is going home with our ball. Like, you know what I'm saying. You know that whole that whole scenario when you're on the playground, you playing with your ball. The bully come up like this. Here, let me see your ball. You know what I'm saying. Kind of like that scene. Kind of like that scene in Boys in the Hood. Remember the Boys in the Hood? They were yeah. walking down the street playing with the football. He said, yeah. "Yo, little man, let me see the ball." Yeah. He but see, ball. usually with us, with us, that five or that six would be six on one. Right. You ain't taking my damn ball, bro. Right. Exactly. You, ball. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what so I'm saying? you see it's me Rudy. and Mookie and Ken and JJ and. <laughs> <laughs> you you seen Ricky? He was like, "Give me my ball back, man! Give me my ball back!" <laughs> you know what I mean? He ain't but, um, one, one one thing I want to say is definitely time that we need a third party in the elections. Yeah, this yeah. this this country have a brilliant people. We we only have Biden and Trump to vote for. That's it. Yeah, we need we definitely need, <laughs> we definitely need a third party, and as far as the vote as far as the voting process, this is just ridiculous. I mean. I'm, I'm going to vote regardless. I've already right. said that I'm I'm going to vote, but bro, we we don't got no real choice. <laughs> it's crazy. That's um that's one thing I love Charlemagne the God because he is putting the pressure on Joe Biden. Like, listen, because he know that's the only logical choice we have. It's imperative that we give Joe Biden and our no, vote. Yeah, to it's imperative. Out, but once you win there, nigga, you, like right, yeah. you need to make some changes. You got to get rid of us. this um. The system of like a trade uh, for a trade, my nigga. Yes, like, uh, yes, for real. Like we a bartering system, some type of bartering system. Facts. Like we, you know, uh, you can't just you ain't just gonna get up in here. We vote for your ass, and you ain't gonna show it, show and prove. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's right. not happening. Exactly. Not this time around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So because he, because he, I mean, basically he's been on cruise control the whole time. Right. Right. He he, he, he hasn't been challenged by anybody. No. And everybody and everybody pretty much hates Trump. He's been chilling. Right. Exactly. Exactly. He definitely needs to show and prove once he, you know, God willing, prayerfully, <laughs> prayerfully gets Trump out of office right. in these next five months because right. Trump is wilding. <laughs> right. But um, to add to your list, cash of uh of um celebrities, entertainers, or whatever, um, doing some dope shit, um, John Boyega, um, this guy, let it be known. He with the shits. He said, I don't care if you racist, get the fuck up off my page. Don't go see none of my movies. Seth Rogen. I, yeah, yo, <laughs> that's another yeah. one, Seth Rogen. Yeah. Don't go see none of my movies. Like, kiss my ass. Like, I don't care. 
Yeah. Then, then John Boyega took it to the streets and, you know, was giving a powerful emotional speech about, you mm -hmm. know, he's like, I'm from the UK. Like, but those are my people over there. Like, you know what I mean? Right. Straight up and down. We, we, yeah. we could be miles apart, but we, we, this melanin right here, this ain't, you know, it ain't going nowhere. Like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I commend him for doing what he did. And like you said, uh, Seth Rogen. And <laughs> Like he was funny with it. He was just right. he was cussing motherfuckers out on his face. <laughs> right. Right. I love it. I love yeah. every bit of it. Like I said in my post, like I don't, I don't care. It's crazy because I said if you, if you're uh, any of the 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 things I mentioned above, which was closet racist, uh, uh, um, which was um, bigot, uh, bigot, yeah, a uh, 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 fence straddler. You know, if I, I said if you're white and you're one of those, yeah. And you're offended by what I posted? Good. Then I double yeah. back. I said, you know what? No. <laughs> it's hilarious. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. If you're white and you're offended, good. Know why? Know why I say that? Because if you're offended by what I said and you're white, you're part of the goddamn problem. Let me just throw like, in uh, what people not understanding about covert white supremacy. Yeah, I'm reading from my phone. These are some examples of what Dub is trying to say. Oh, it was just a joke. Um, racist mascots. I'm a red skin fan, but hey, that's a racist mascot. Mm -hmm. Um, housing discrimination, mass incarceration. Mm -hmm. Um, don't blame me. I never owned slaves. Mm -hmm. Type of stuff. Uh, what else? Racial profiling, hiring discrimination. Oh, we ain't just, get on that. Throw a few of those out there. I, yo, mm -hmm. I, that, yeah, we ain't even, and that's exactly what I'm. Thanks, Cash, because I, you know, I, that's exactly what I'm trying to lean on because you know, I, I, I call them closet racists. You right. know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, you know, some of these people could be the damn doctor that we go to see, it. the doctor yeah. that we go make our appointment with, yep. could, could very well be, yeah, that closet racist. All right. The police yeah. officer that you call, you call to your house to figure some shit out. Yeah, could right. very well be a closet racist. The right. guy that I took the lift with today, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. That was listening yeah. to that bullshit on the radio. Could <laughs> Honestly. very well be a closet racist. You understand what I'm saying? So you know, yeah. um, it, it, it and and like Cash said, you know, people that say, "Well, I never owned slaves and stuff like that," or my ancestors, they did it. Why are you mad at me? You know what I mean? Because I'm mad at you because you're not doing anything to fix it. Mm -hmm. Right. If you really know it's wrong, mm -hmm. you would do right. something to fix it. Right. If you just, now the fact that you're not recognizing that that shows me you're using your privilege, which then shows me you're a uh, closet racist. So, in relation to your post, like, did some other than the obvious, obviously, did something like <laughs> direct, did somebody like DM you on the low and be like, "Why are you being so whatever?" That's why you did that, or was it just like? I have I had multiple clashes. I had multiple clash. I was I I don't even, I'm not even gonna call them clashes because they they yeah. they're signed to Block of Fellow Records right now. So I, I <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But uh, you know, um, Block of Fellow, y'all. You know what I'm saying. But uh, <laughs> it was the fact okay. that um, this was right after you know George Floyd passed, and they were more concerned with buildings burning down. Okay. And yeah. monetary materialistic shit, right, rather right. than a a black man's life. Yeah. And I was going like from every angle and mm -hmm. it, it just so happened to be fr people I was friends with white people. Okay. I'm going to yeah. put it out there. White people I was friends with white people. Yeah, I yeah. even served in the military with. Okay. And I said, you know what? I I'm going to put it out there now. Y'all can, you y'all can sign yourself to block a fellow records. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? See my, my record label. I, I got an office. And I got one of those little, uh, those little paper cubby things. Where you could just, <laughs> and I got them full stack with denials. <laughs> so denials. Yeah. <laughs> and I and, and I asked that question because you know, like someone blindly would read that, and be like, "Well, he's just angry." You know what I mean? So I want them to know there's a context behind. No, there's a context that, you know behind I mean? it. Yeah, there's, yeah, a, yeah. there's a context. But yeah, even yeah. still, it, even still, even if there was no context behind it, look what happened. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. it's enough to make any, you know what I'm saying? No, no doubt. Yeah. But yeah. that just added fuel to what they were doing, added fuel to the fire. But even still, right. you know, I, I was with the shits. I'm mad, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, um, absolutely. like I said, you know, in, like I said in that that post, 
they mm-hmm. lucky we all we all we asking for is to you know evolve and and to be equal and we're not you know ready for a full on onslaught like they they lucky that we're not just headed for revenge right. then it'll be a right. problem you know what i'm saying all we but, still- but 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 let's be honest bro we're not we're not ready we're not we're not we're not ready for any kind of war or anything of that matter you know some of these white folks got their kids out here shooting at 6 years old they know how to clean a gun, break a gun down, and you know they they doing sniper shit from a thousand feet away already. By the by the time they twelve and thirteen, we got guns in the hood, but we're not organized, bro. Yeah. We're oh not. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that's that's one of the things you know. Nobody's practicing. You know, like who's really going out and target shoot? Nobody. Right. And that's the thing, you know though. Saying? That's the thing. Um, we're so far divided because you got to realize back back in the. Uh, what late sixties, early seventies, and stuff. You know when the Black Panthers was around and everything. Yeah. Um. We, you know, we were organ. That's why. That's one of the reasons why they went after us. We were so right. organized, so organized, right. to the point like kids didn't have to worry about getting white people's food. Like we had food programs. We exactly. had. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We taught self defense. Which, 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 by the way, which, by the way, the government copied the WIC program from the Black Panthers. From the Black Panthers, yeah, exact, oh. exactly. Yeah. Oh, look, look, is like, oh, see, like, I, I even know that. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? Crazy. Yeah, like, and see, racism. see, but this is why I took a, this is why I kind of took offense to when Ti spoke and he said Atlanta's like Wakanda. It's nowhere near no damn Wakanda because if Atlanta was like a Wakanda, you wouldn't be getting into law trouble, my nigga. Yeah, I mean, right. you know what I'm saying? I mean, to, like, 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 no disrespect would, to Ti, but what he said wasn't <laughs> effective at all. I was like, like <laughs> not at all. Why are you, you know what I'm saying? That's why, that's why nobody plays his clip. They play Killer Mike, but I ain't seen a whole lot of Ti clip being played. No, right? No. You know no. what I'm saying? Love Ti as an artist, love his music, man. But like that shit yeah. right there, like it, it, it's not Wakanda. <laughs> Black Wall Street was closest to Wakanda. You know what I'm saying? Right. The Black right. Panther program was closest to Wakanda. You know what I'm saying? We have we we organize. We can make. A, don't get me wrong. We can make a, a, a Wakanda. We can we can create that for ourselves. The thing is, we have to organize. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has to play their part. Right. You know. Um. We are some of the most creative, innovative. Uh, something from nothing. Something from nothing. I about right. to say that's that to me. To me, that's the best way to describe it. Something from out of nothing. Nothing. Yeah. For real, because you got to realize they took us from where we originally orig- They took us from our origin story, nigga. Like we are real live superheroes. <laughs> Look, I, I spent my whole life studying superheroes, reading superheroes, uh, reading about them, talking about them, created a podcast based on them to actually find out that my origin story and the person I am makes me a superhero. I'm I'm I, I've been through things and I do things that other people look at and, and fathom. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, our origin story taking us from Africa, bringing us here, stripped us of our names. You know what I'm saying? Stripped us of any identity we had. Then when slavery got abolished and we were free, we still went through typical trials and tribulations. Then you, you fast forward a little bit to like the Jim Crow laws and civil rights. Yeah, Jim, segreg- yeah, Jim Crow laws, uh, civil rights, segregation. And then we're still trying to make a way, you know, when the world was separate, when we were segregated, we still, we still had our own music. We still did, you know, did things amongst ourselves. Still had. That's work. what made, that's part of what made us self-sufficient in this country. And that and that was an issue when we, we all, got to point where we didn't depend on them anymore. Right, different chapters. We they, eat throughout each chapter. When they stripped us of everything, we still rose. Like we're like a, a fucking phoenix, nigga. Like any time they stripped us of something and burnt shit down to the ground, we rose up again. We go back to we go back to uh we go back to like Black Wall Street, which was before hip hop, right? Before hip hop was right. even thought of, right? And uh. We were thriving then. People had businesses thriving. They burnt that shit to the ground. They bombed that shit to ash. They bombed that shit. We rose out of that shit. Started started again. You know what I'm saying? There was a uh, it was a video my sister sent me today actually of a lady explaining pretty much what black people have been going through, and she equated it to a game of Monopoly. 
Mm-hmm. And she said, what if you were playing Monopoly mm-hmm. with, with, you know, the opposite person or that, that represents, you know, yeah. white, white supremacy or the government or sy- systemic right. racism. And every time you played, you, anything you gained in that game, they took. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't keep. You know what I'm saying? And then later on in the game, which is like later on in life, you got yeah. a little bit of leeway. You started getting things and earning money and stuff like that. But you mm-hmm. had to pay them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? So technically, that whole board, when it comes down to it, technically the whole board, like out of the whole game, you don't really own shit on the fucking board. Like you yeah. don't. You don't own nothing on the board. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and this is what's going on now. And now you mad at us for being mad. Right. That we don't have shit on the fucking board. Yeah, no, you know no, what I'm saying? Like this is crazy. Yeah, that's a good metaphor to break it down for somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And when we were getting money, like Black Wall Street, you know, Rosewood and stuff like that, you took all our pieces and all our monopoly money and you burnt that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You burnt it. Now we back to square fucking one. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And every time we we keep rising, we keep rising. Yeah. So now the only thing that's left is like, nigga, like rebellion like you know what i'm saying right. yeah yeah you got talks of reparations in the air you know um since this whole uprising you know you got talks of reparations going around i'm not holding my breath I i'm not like, hold, i'm not holding my breath but i'm just saying it, it came back up you know i feel like saying? reparations shouldn't because, just come because they think like, the money's gonna quiet us that's the only thing about that. yeah, exactly that's, that's yeah. why I, that's why i don't care about it i mean because the only thing that's gonna happen when if, if they if they was to give us reparations Will be that Dave Chappelle episode. <laughs> we gonna fuck it up. We gonna fuck it up. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I'm KFC. Lying, ladies and gentlemen, anymore. ladies and gentlemen, KFC and Church's chicken stock done went up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gucci, Gucci and Versace uh, has been uh, sold out. <laughs> he's like, uh, he's like Newport Pack truck cigarettes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Newport, <laughs> Newport stock. <laughs> It was like hundreds of record labels open up like by the hour. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Nike stock gonna go up. Nike, yeah, <laughs> Nike stock going up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like I was saying, like like reparations shouldn't come in just in like a monetary sense. You know what I mean? It should come yeah. like like systematically, it should come deeper. It shouldn't be like, here's some money, be happy. Yeah. Like that's not I, what it I, is. I, I, I was thinking along the lines of property, education. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, medical for the rest of your life, stuff like that. That's exactly. how I put them on the, not not just cash. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. because I'm, really they want you to spend it with their companies and shit. That's what's going to yeah, happen. They want to yeah. throw, you know, they throw a bunch you of money right at back. us. Right, right, they, exactly. They throw a bunch of money at us and then turn around and call us lazy, like we don't want to work and shit. You know what I'm saying? Man, we've been we've been lazy since we've been free. The the moment they <laughs> the moment the moment they had to stop cracking that whip, we've been lazy ever since then. And then, and then, like, if you if you take the money they give you and build up your own community, they're probably gonna burn that down, burn it, like, right, try to burn right, it down right, again. So it's like yeah. back to square right, one, like, right, right, right. right yeah, it's like, right. It's, yeah. And don't want to, and don't want to pay the insurance. Right, <laughs> right, exactly. right. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's, that's what with with Rick saying. You know, we need to be organized. Mm-hmm. We want equality, but not only do we want equality, we want equity. Like you said, we want schools and we want. Yeah. The same uh access to health care. So that's own, what we need beliefs. to break down. Right. That's why I, that, Yeah, that that's why I don't give a fuck about these buildings burning down, these motherfucking businesses yeah. and shit. I don't they got give a insurance. Shit. They got they got bro, they got like multi million dollar policy. Yeah, yeah, they got insurance and, and on the employees building. Employees can file for unemployment. If you lost your job because of the protest, exactly. go file for unemployment. Exactly. That shit gonna pay you more than what you're getting paid. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I mean, they, they they may be mad. They got to clean up. Yeah, yeah. They got they got insurance on these buildings, and you know, but you know, and even though, like, God forbid, someone else dies at the hand of police or racism, they they may have life insurance. But guess what? When your family gets that life insurance, they can't build you back up like a fucking building. No. You know what I'm saying? Right. You're dead. Right. Like they can't. Right. You know what I'm saying? They can't put you back together and 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 you know bring you back to life with life insurance. Right. I mm-hmm. wish it worked, did work that way. Oh, I yeah. pay on life insurance oh, like a mother. You mean to tell me when I die, it's like Super Mario, brother, I get another life <laughs> and I can come back? 
Oh, I'm paying this. I will never. I won't. I won't never miss a payment. Hell no, I wouldn't miss a payment. Right. You mean, tell, like, that's what life insurance is about. You mean I could just pay this? This comes out of my check, and if I die, <laughs> I come back to life. You know what I'm saying? If that was the case, then we wouldn't even have this argument. Like, George right. Floyd would be alive and well. You know what I'm saying? But that's yeah, not the right. case. And that's, like I said, this goes back to my rant, you know, on Facebook. That's why I had a lot of issues with, you know, different people that I was dealing with because, you know, they were trying to... uh sugarcoat the fact that this man died at the hand of the hands of police and you know you out there uh worried worrying about buildings and, and shit this is why because america is so fucking materialistic right yeah it, it's it's ridiculous right. and you think i give a shit about people looting and taking your shit when you don't took shit from us from all these years yeah you know what i'm saying just the beginning of they the took time. time. They took everything. Yeah, and but what's crazy about us is this is why I say we superheroes. Okay, take all that shit. We still prevail. Like we still come up with something else and come out of like, come on now. Still innovative. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me let me say something else about the money too. Let me say something else about the money. As far as when, okay, let's just say for instance, um Chauvin's found out guilty, but they settled money with the family, with the uh, with, George, with George Floyd's family. Mm-hmm. In those cases like that, the city usually pays for that. We need to start hitting up them uh, those police benevolent funds. Mm-hmm. Let's get let, let's get into let's, the cops' pocket yeah. because if the city or the state or whatever that bills on them, the police ain't paying shit. Let's yeah. start getting let's let, you know, Minnesota, let's let, let's get into Minnesota's police fund. Let's, mm-hmm. You know whatever yeah. 10, 15, whatever you want to start the family. Take that shit. You want to dis- Yeah, you want to disrupt other people's family. Let's make it hard on your family to eat, nigga. Like hey, for real. There you go. There Ser- you go. Seriously, like seriously, like that's 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 a real issue right there. Because because the family does need to be compensated, and the cops do need to be found guilty, not just charged. So both ways, throw the asses in jail and compensate for that man's life, even though you could never monetarily compensate for anyone's life. After all these protests, they done moved that third degree up to second degree murder now. Um, Russia. And and now the other officers are, you know, they they're uh arrested and, and, and gonna be charged. Pressure, bro. Pressure. I, but they, I, I'm they, I'm they still but but I'm I'm greedy. I'm still not satisfied, nigga. Right. <laughs> Word up. If we gonna call a spade a spade, we're going there right now because I'm I'm not satisfied. I want results. I'm not I'm not naturally an asshole. <laughs> right. <laughs> but that, but that's crazy. That's that's the thing with a lot of a lot of black folks. Like we're naturally like the the people that get along with everybody. Like we kumbaya like a motherfucker. Yeah. We've always we've always been forgiving people. It's just time yeah. that we stop forgiving motherfuckers. Yeah. That's all. That's it. Like you know, straight up and down. So it's just like they you know, and, and, and you do know they knew each other, right? Yeah, oh, they did. Right. Oh, so that yeah. was true then. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah okay. they they they, they, they they both were working security at a club for like a couple of years together. So it's not like oh. they didn't. You know, I don't know this dude. They may not have been friends, I'm sure, but it's not like I don't know this person. I don't know who he is. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and like I mentioned earlier um, with uh, uh, that dude, Andrew Wilkow, you know, he, he has a show on Sirius XM. Mm-hmm. He went on to, uh, you know, as far as um, the police were concerned, he went on to say that he uh, the cop didn't wake up. What What's his name? Uh, Chauvin? Chauvin, Ch- yeah. He didn't wake up just, you know, wake up saying, oh, I'm going to kill George Floyd today. So that's why he should get third degree. How does he know um, that? Like, are exactly. you talking to, like, are, are you in his brain? <laughs> yeah, how day right. in the day out? Like, You're right. How you know? He tried to when pull- he pulled up to that store, he was probably like, oh, this nigga. Yeah, right. exactly. 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 Like exactly. people assuming shit is just ridiculous. That's yeah, it's stupid. crazy. So yeah, he was spilling a lot of bullshit on that on that on that radio. I was and like, people actually you know, listen to this shit. And yeah, that, oh, a lot problem. of a lot of and so I went I went and dug. You know, of course I I got to be nosy and see. So I'm looking at his like Instagram and shit like that, and I'm seeing people the people that he attract, and they're like, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm a gun toting uh, member of the NRA, and the fuck this that here, and the man. third and whoop de whoop, and they yeah. just you know. It's, I mean, and this is the shit, the bullshit we got to go through. But this, but ultimately, this is the shit that white people say don't exist. 
Right. And it's right in their faces and, and they're listening <laughs> every day. Like, they say, don't uh, racism, racism. Yeah. What is race? Race? No, we there ain't, been, been, there, ain't, there ain't been a racism since 1950-something. But hold up. <laughs> and a lot of them, look, you ain't never hear them throw up Martin and Malcolm so much until mm. now. Like, now that shit fucked up. They ain't yeah, never mentioned. Yeah. They done shot these two men. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. They ain't mentioned. They ain't mention these dudes, but now it's like, oh well, Martin wouldn't wanna, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh Martin yeah. wouldn't. I see another Martin quote about <laughs> peaceful rioting. Like, like Martin was peaceful, to, but now, now you want to wanna say Martin was peaceful? Because but y'all shot him it. too. Yeah, but you but shot, shot him too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's no different than the nigga jogging down the street that y'all shot, nigga. Like uh, what the fuck? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And and you know somebody his noticed. Own Something I noticed that that entire time when Chauvin was choking out Floyd, that he's looking at the camera. He's not saying, get the camera out of my face. Somebody grab that camera. He's looking at the camera directly. Like, you see my face. I'm a cop. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's way, way too comfortable. I just saw it as blatant, just like that. Yeah, yeah. He didn't Definitely. care. The other, the other, the, the, the chubby guy that was an Asian and... You know, he just sitting there with his hands on his lips, just like looking around, and right. everybody knows everybody and their mama got a phone now with a camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's looking directly at the camera, right. eyes, everything. They they were connected. The right. other cop, the uh, the Asian officer, was just standing there with his hands on his hips, not doing anything. All their actions were performed right there on video. Mm -hmm. Everybody and their mama has a phone now with some right. kind of recording capability, and to me, his just his look on his face was like, I don't care, I'm a cop. I'm not gonna be convicted. Right. Well, yeah. See, that's why. That's why I said that. Um, that you know, smartphones are the real MVP in all of this. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then no, the the two the two uh folks that were recording, they got death threats because they didn't jump in. But oh, wow. I mean, but you can't blame you. I mean, it's, it was. They said it was like two of them. Mm -hmm. But you got like four officers and more coming on the scene. Yeah, with guns. Yeah, cause, and, cause, and, cause, with like, guns. And then like, on top of that, and then on top of that, I heard they were young. I heard they were. I, I don't oh. know if this is true, but I heard they were like either teens or they okay like college students or something. Well, you come they were young. Come out the ones that the ones that were recording. They did the recording. Right. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. that did the recording. They got That's death a whole threats. Another topic for they, me because they got they got death threats because they didn't do nothing. Like, oh, why didn't y'all jump in or whatever, whatever. But mm -hmm. I mean, every you gotta realize every this goes back to the whole being on the front line thing. You don't know people's stories. You don't know everybody deals with. You know, some people mm -hmm. fight, some people take flight. You know, right. yeah, they deal with shit in different ways. You don't know that. You know what I'm saying? So, who's to say that they're wrong or right? At least they got some footage, right? right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And those, those whoever threatened them kids were the same kid were the same people probably that wasn't doing anything to the police. They probably running around, running up in the mall and shit, those stealing shit. But yeah, you know what I'm saying, looting stuff like that. But they weren't gonna jump on no police, man. <laughs> those, are, those are kids anyway. I, I don't expect them to right. just jump on the police because they damn sure would have shot them. I'm pretty sure that they were they were young black males right. or something like that. They probably been killed. That's probably when the Asian cop would have got involved. Right. Right. Now I get it. I, I get. I get attacking my fellow officers. And that's another thing too. These black police, <laughs> these black police need to start opening their mouth because mm -hmm. if you think you blew before you're black, you're wrong. For real, yeah. Period. Facts. I, now that's what I, I don't care about celebrities saying anything. I don't care about athletes saying anything. I'm talking about these black police keeping their mouth shut, standing there in a lot of cases while these murders are going down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. <sighs> it's a lot to take in, a lot to digest. Um, but I'm just glad, like I said, that the 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 spark is 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 alive and it's and, and the flame is growing. And um, like I said, we just need to stick with this energy. Same energy. Keep the same energy. Let's keep it going. I like do not stop because the minute we do, I don't. It's to the point to where now, now I don't give a fuck about nothing. <laughs> What's that song? Uh, who's um. Eminem or D12, it was on one of the, it was on the Funk Master Flex Big Cap joint, I think. It was My Words of Weapons. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, what, what Eminem said at the end of his verse, he said, uh, I'm, I'm so motherfucking nutty, I don't give a fuck about nothing. Or something he's saying, like, he said, <laughs> yeah. I don't give a fuck about nobody because nobody gives a fuck. He was just like, just saying it, but that's how yeah. I feel, pretty right, much, right, in a right. nutshell. Right. That's right. how I feel, like, it's just crazy because, like, you know, like I said, I'm not, I'm not walking in on any more eggshells. 
It's either like I said, you you ride or you're not. And and that's that's my energy from here on out. What are oh. y'all listening to? You know, what oh. are y'all listening oh, right. to to fuel your fire? I'm on P E Y Z P R T B D P. Okay. I, I I got what you I know what you're talking about. Uh-huh. <laughs> PR, PR, that's, PR, all, hey, that's, that's, all, hey. that's all I'm playing right now. Brand Nubian, hey, X Clan. You, you know, white folks, you know, X Clan scared the shit out of white folks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, PRT is from New Jersey, too. You know that. Oh, you know, sure. Trent, Trent, Trenton, Trenton, yeah, Trenton. PRT. Uh, uh, so, so, so is YZ. Yeah, yep, yep. YZ, yep. So, um. Oh, and, 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 and I'll throw in um, Run the Jewels. Oh mm. yeah, I'm listening to Run the Juice. Yeah, they dropped Run, a new one, right? Yeah, I'm listening to Run yeah. the Juice for what is it? Four or five? Four. 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 Yeah, I'm listening to Run the Juice for. I'm listening to um, uh, Alfredo. By, oh, uh, Alchemist and Freddie Gibbs. Al- Alchemist mm. and Freddie. Yo, Freddie Gibbs has been. Man, listen now. He's killing bro. it, man. Yeah. Yeah. Man, listen yeah. now. Like he's he's showing and proving. He's like, I don't give a fuck who you pair me up with. I rip it. Ever yeah. since Pinata, he's been on the yeah. road. Yeah, he's been on mm-hmm. the road. Um, what else am I listening to? I'm listening to oh Styles P, new album. <laughs> Styles P's album is crazy, man. Yeah, I gotta hear it. I, I didn't know you had a new what album. Is, what is it called? Yeah. Ghost Ghost Your Enthusiasm or something like yeah, that. that. Yeah, yes, that's it. Yeah, that's Ghost it. Your <laughs> Styles is killing it, man. Yeah, he yeah, his album is decent. Um Whoa. Styles drops like ten, he dropped like five albums a year. It's he crazy. Does. He Nobody does. noticed that. Nobody yeah, notices that. Crazy. Man. Like Styles yeah. be on a roll. Um, what else? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, trying to think. Um, I'm listening to a lot of new R&B, like cool, okay. chill out music. Uh, thanks to Insecure. Oh no, nice. uh, yeah. they always <laughs> like, have some. Like I always have my sh- tracks. I always have my Shazam ready. Like when I'm watching the Insecure. first season was their best season with the music. That that first Indeed. season was crazy. Yes. With the music. Definitely. Totally agree with but, uh, that. Like, uh, yeah, uh, Raphael Sadiq, I think, was the music supervisor on the first season. Yeah. He was dropping mm-hmm. some bangers on there. Yeah, I think he's back. I think he's back for this this, this season that's on now. I think he is okay. back because they didn't they had they had Solange uh, for for a season or two or something like that too at one point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I've been listening to a lot of that. I've been listening. To, um, but yeah, as far as hip hop, yeah, and the main two be Alfred. Well, main three, I would say Alfredo. Uh, mm-hmm. The Styles P joint and the uh, Run the Jewels. Run the Jewels, yeah. And I got uh, uh, Food and Liquor Part Two, Great American Rap Album, Lupe Fiasco, uh, okay. Tipping Point by the Roots. Okay. I gotta and, check that out. I didn't, know, I didn't know you had a new album. Wow. Oh no, uh, no, like, that came that came on back in like 2012. But no, he's talking about he, no, he's still, he's just talking about stuff he's listening to like that yeah, kind of okay. pertains to the to the to the what's going on. Gotcha. You know. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, I, I should have gave my list of that, but <laughs> yeah. I, was, I thought you meant like what's what up, you know what? Yeah, just in general. Yeah, yeah. in general, what yeah. what's new? But uh, yeah, but um, yeah. So so those are my two right now. Well, what about you, Cash? What you been listening to? Of course, uh, Kendrick Lamar to Pimple yeah. Butterfly. We go yeah. be all right. Hey, right. we go be that's all the, right. That's the anthem hey, right there. We go be all right. That's um, the I've been listening to uh. Cause I'm a jazz lover, so I love Robert okay. Glasper and his oh. last album, "Fuck Your Feelings." That's how I feel. <laughs> hey, I tell that, you, hey, if that, that if that ain't it to a T, that, that it. album hit way harder right now. So yeah, I've been right. listening to that. Yes. Uh, the Roots, things fall apart. Yep, nice. Of course, of course, I've been listening to a little bit of N.W.A. Hey. Oh, dude. Yeah. Ice Cube. Hey. I saw that. Yeah, look. Yeah, I peeped your T-shirt when you first came on the camera. I'm like, oh, yeah. It's so nice. <laughs> 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 I, yeah. I specifically wore this for this episode. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> America KKK's yeah. most wanted. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Wow. Don't, don't forget Joey Badass's album too. Oh, yeah. right, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's a dope yeah. Album. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm def- I'm definitely gonna check out Joey. I've been on Joey's yeah. Super Air Day. Okay, nice. Right. Nice, nice. Yeah. 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 Uh I, I, right I, quick, Cash. Cash, what is it with you saying it's time for the versus battles to be over? Yo, they got to cut it out. It's at it's at the point where <laughs> it's like it borderline and kind of corny now. Yeah, it needs to end while it's good. Because it, yeah, I agree. It's I, just with the whole sound going in and out. For one, Swiss Beats and Timberland should have already built their own platform for this. Like mm-hmm. like two or three episodes in, they should have been able to build their own website so yeah. that we always have good sound quality no matter what like y'all have enough money for that 
But um, it's just at the point where it's just like, what other artists do people? That's what I, that's why that's why I was going with it. That's what yeah. I was going to say. Like it, it's to the point to where, you know, I of course of course I dig it. You know what I mean? But at the same time, yeah. like we're running out of people to go up against. Yeah. And then and then there's a lot of people that don't even want to participate at all. So then now like what now what? Like yeah, that's true. yeah, yeah. Like you know, Monica and Brandy would be great, but Monica don't want to do it. Doesn't so, want to like, do it because yeah. it's a competition. But, but that's what it is. Though, that's right? what y'all yeah. whole brand is like. It's made off of. Yeah. So then they, like, then they, they kept it. they kept throwing uh, which I thought would have been a great battle because it'd have been the first like unisex battle. But um, uh, Missy and Buster. Oh, that'd be dope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying. That would have been, been dope. You know what I'm saying. Um. And then you know they they were talking to DMX about oh <laughs> that whole Lloyd Banks debacle. Y'all hear about that? Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that was crazy. Man. And then and oh, then Tony Ayo Tony Ayo comes out and says, uh, "Who listens to yeah, DMX? Right. He's, he's a cracker." <laughs> oh, like, you I'm say like, that? What? <laughs> That's crazy, man. Yeah, you better leave my boy D alone, man. Like, yeah, definitely bro. time for them to wrap it on up. I can't believe he mistook Tony Ayo for Lloyd Banks. I was like, yeah, what, yeah, do you, what? "What are you even doing?" <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, man. You know what? I would like to see mm-hmm. something versus. I don't. I know Cash is probably like the youngest one, but I remember as a kid, I remember they would have like, um, UNCF telethon on TV as a kid. Mm-hmm. And mine who, is, mine is a terrible before. thing to waste. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. And people, I remember those. People, people would be performing and people would call in and make donations and pledges and shit like that. They should do yeah. something like that. That that would be way dope. And that shit lasted yeah. like all day, bro. I mean, it started like 12 noon and would go into like the night, you know, with cats like Stephen <laughs> London, Michael Jackson, all yeah, them being right. like later on. But during the day, you might have like Cool in the Gang, the SOS band, you know, these are my, like, my parents' cool. music. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They definitely do. I think they should, that would be definitely huge right now. Definitely even donated to like a George Floyd fund or mm-hmm. things That's... to help out with the protesters and things yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. Man, yeah, I, as, as as far as the verses though, the, that oh, Bounty Kill and Beanie Man, this this that set, was a that whole was, other level. That was a whole other level. Nothing cut right off. There. They were they a, were performing. It was yo, it was that was a vibe. Was, that, hey, that's my favorite one. That's my favorite one. Right that was there. a vibe. That was a vibe. That was definitely a yeah, vibe. The, 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 the West Indian and me, like yeah, that, that, that was, was a vibe. Insane, like man. oh, you talking about um, you talking about um, Beanie Man and um, was it Bounty Killer? Killer? Yeah, yeah. Bounty Killer. Yeah, they and he him. actually played uh uh Michael Jackson brought you through. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I was like yes, hip hop bro. Yeah, hip hop bro. Yeah, I was like yes. That was he was sick. playing all the joints, man. That was crazy. That just let you know, like it made me want to go back. And, like I'm like, man, I gotta. Yeah, throw a whole. And that, like, that, that's the only, that's the only one that I've missed that's whatever. been on. Mm. That's the only one that I've missed that's been on is was, was that particular one. I forgot what I was doing that night, but I, that's the only one that I've missed. It's yeah. on um, it's on YouTube. I, I can yeah, send you yeah, the link if yeah. you want. But yeah, 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 yeah. It's on YouTube. It too. But yeah. but um, before we get out of here, the, the part when uh the police came. That was crazy. Yeah. Beanie Man <laughs> said, look, I'm going to tell you what Beanie Man said. Yeah, he's funny. He said, we're doing this in front of the world. He said, mm-hmm. you don't want to be that guy, do you? Exactly what he said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be that wait, guy. Wait, wait. When he Did said the cop, that. The cop came because of the volume or something? Yeah, because of the noise. I guess the noise or whatever, or whatever. Wow. But. Then the dude left. He's like, "Yeah, you're right." Yeah, right. Beanie Man said, "Beanie Man said, look, we got four. What, what? By that time, what they had like three, four thousand. Like, it was we got so three, four thousand people, people, people. The world around the yeah. world watching us. Right. You don't want to be that guy, do you? Yeah. And when he said that, I had to put myself in the police officer's shoes. Like, damn, nah, I wouldn't want to be that guy. The shit right. Is party true, down, man. and it's a party. It's a <laughs> thousand people there, and I gotta be the one to shut yeah. the party down. Nah, you good." Y'all keep rocking on. <laughs> it was funny though because like um uh, um uh, Bounty Killer like walked away and let Le- Le- Beanie Man like handle the situation because he knows if they were both talking to the cops, it wouldn't have went down that way. Right, you know right, what I mean? Exactly. Like he let one of them handle it before right. they look like they're hostile or whatever, you know. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. But but I mean that was a good look though when the cop was like, All right, you're right. <laughs> yeah, y'all right. Yeah. <laughs> but uh but yeah, that was that was, that was a good battle. But yeah, I, I agree with you, Cash. They need to either Come up with something great, or just leave it alone and leave it yeah. on a good note. Because before yeah. you know it, they're gonna start doing verses with rap, whack rappers, and you're gonna right. see like Magoo versus Chingy and shit. And I ain't trying to. <laughs> I'm not even trying to watch Those that. Boy, one. Those <laughs> boy versus, <laughs> <laughs> versus Jay Kwan. So, yeah. 
They got they, like three songs to play. And like, right. They're going to get obscure with it. They're going to have like damn uh, Be Rich versus Cuckoo Cal and shit. I'm like, <laughs> oh, hell no. <nah." laughs> um, but um, yeah, so. um, <laughs> But yeah, it was a good productive episode. Yeah. Um, right. You know, um, got got a, got a lot of frustration out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Let, let yes, off a little I steam. Right I feel now. a little bit better. Yeah, I feel a little yeah. bit better. Like feel, you know, um, feel like the world ain't on my neck. Right. They're very <laughs> you know what therapeutic. I'm ain't on, you know, feel like the world's knee is off of my neck right now. So. Yeah, I just want to shout out um some of the people that are out there. Um, Tamika D. Mallory, she is okay. fucking dope. Like she's out there. She's a little petite lady from New York, I believe, but she's out there on those front lines, like at the protests, organizing, okay. just amazing. Um, my son, I think that's how you say his name. My son, my son, yeah, my yeah, son, my son. Yeah. So I ordered this book. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's called "I Know My Rights." Mm-hmm. I ordered ah, that. Okay. Obviously, that's his book. I ordered that for myself as well as my son, so that they Ooh. could read it. And so that they can Word. educate themselves early in the game. Yeah. Um, yeah. Charlamagne, yeah, uh, yeah. Angela Rye, and Amanda Seals. Those are my favorites. Uh, so those are the people that keep me up to date. And, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm learning That's crazy because all of the same people you 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 um looking, you know, look towards, uh, I look towards too. I just seen um uh Amanda Seals. She was uh talking to um I forget his name, but I I know him as uh, Terry Silver from from Power. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but she was having a <laughs> he she was having a dope conversation about like how we can start you know to rebuild and like use this time to like you know use this 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 point in time as a catalyst to mm-hmm. know, excel us yeah. into the this next level because at the same time while all this is going on a lot of people are waking the fuck up and mm-hmm. a lot of people are opening their third eye. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying. So um, uh, let's keep that in mind. But yeah, shout out to everybody on the front line. Um, that's dope. I did not know he wrote a book. I'm gonna have to definitely yes. check that it's out. It's only eleven dollars too, so definitely I'm gonna definitely check that out. But I, I'm, you know, I know he's been on the front lines doing things, you know, for uh, for a long time now. Long time mm-hmm. now, yeah. yeah. So definitely, that's that's that's. He's, um, he's, he's also involved in um in prison reform as well. Right. Oh, right. Exactly. Um. Hopefully, I can get him on the show. Um, that 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 would be dope. That'd be dope. Yeah, especially now, like right right now, I would love to hear and pick his brain and hear what he has to say. Um, I, uh, big shout out to everybody locally doing their thing on the front lines right. too. Everybody in Durham and Raleigh, um, Chapel Hill, Fayetteville, yeah, uh, yeah, Indy Chapel Week, Hill, because Fay- they yeah. are reporting and they're not, yeah, they not playing. They reporting the real. So shout yeah. out to Indy Week, Indy Week, cool. yeah, um, yeah. I, I mean, anybody and and shout out to uh. All you know, all the non-black, uh, you know, supporters and protesters um, who are here for the movement, who are here for us as black. If you're women. really with it, if, if yeah, you're really, you're, with it. you're really with it, like, and and, it, and it's really something that you don't have to like really search and and look for inside you. It's there. You know right. what I'm saying? That's why I always say, if I if if I say something to offend you. And if I just generalize and say, oh, white people, and I offend you, it's not in you. It's not there. Right. You know what I mean? Because right. you, you wouldn't get offended. You know what I'm right. saying? So You know what I'm talking about? You know who I'm talking about. Exactly. You know who, what, the wins, wears, and the whys. Like, you know. Right. So, um, yeah, man. But uh, with that said, uh, yeah, it's been a, a, a great episode. Um, episode 15. Um, still don't know what to call this episode. <laughs> Still don't know, but uh, I feel like it'll probably come as you edit or whatever. Sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say we could call it. We gonna be all right. We gonna be all right. (laughs) Yeah, might yeah, might have to throw that in the intro. Yeah, hey, throw throw the fist emoji. Yeah, yeah, we gonna be all right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you know, remember to listen, share, rate, and subscribe. We're on Pandora, Apple Podcast, Spotify, Google Podcast, Google Play, Tune In, iHeartRadio, Castbox, uh, Stitcher and more uh, if you have a question comment or suggestion email us at hiphopmarbles at gmail.com um, be honest and be respectful definitely um because we will get blocked right yeah <laughs> <laughs> we are with the shits uh, or get blocked <laughs> <it, it>, <laughs> block a fella y'all <laughs> 
Oh <laughs> my goodness. Yes. Blocked yes. and be blessed. Be blocked and blocked. <laughs> yeah. That that's that's kind of an inside joke um for you guys that, that don't know <laughs> that um, you know, I, I always say when I block people on Facebook or any of my social media, I sign them to block a fellow records, <laughs> um, which is my new label. Like I said, I got contracts. The block. The, the, the block. The, the block the, yeah, for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got I got a bunch of uh contracts on my desk. So you can just take one. You know what I'm saying? You say something stupid, I'll, I'll just point to the contracts. I'm signing everybody. Like, hey, <laughs> take one. <laughs> Yeah, so if you got a question, comment, suggestion, email us at hiphopmarvels at gmail. Follow us on our social media. Uh, that's Twitter and, and IG at Hip Hop Marvels and Facebook, Hip Hop Marvels, all one word. And subscribe to the Hip Hop Marvels YouTube channel. I mean, it's one video up there. Um, so <laughs> view that for right now. There's going to be more. And like I said, we're still in the middle of a freaking pandemic. Yeah. Yeah, like, this is like all on top of that. It's like a big ass shit sandwich with layers. Like <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. Like you know what I'm saying? It's you know, like a Scooby Doo sandwich with all the layers. Are you serious? I'm serious. It's like all right, you got your bread. Okay, Kobe's dead. Then yeah. you got you know what I'm yeah. saying. Then you got oh shit, we got this virus is coming into play. And yeah, then it's, it's like crazy. oh shit, like you know just shit on top of shit on top of it's just crazy. Like you know, so hopefully. Like like Cash said, we're going to be all right. It's crazy because on the flip side to it, it has me thinking that, like, you know, I see the meme and said next year got to be lit. And, like, you know, if this year is like this, next year everybody's prevailing. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Bro, we got, like, six months and some change to go. <laughs> yes. My ex. Like, I'm, it's, it's, to the, it's to the point to where it I'm not. It ain't cold yet. It, it's crazy because, like, I'm not even, like, usually – I look forward to like my birthday and stuff, like you know, relaxing, chilling, whatever the case may be. My birthday is next month, and I'm just like, eh. you know what I'm saying, like <laughs> yeah. whatever. Right. And then on top of that, I'm I'm approaching forty too at that, so it's just like, okay, eh. <laughs> <laughs> like for real, <laughs> it's crazy though. But you know, it is what it is. We gonna be alright. Yeah. So until next time, remember everybody, stay marvelous. We out. Dig this and dig it deep.